go knight e2 here, keep it rolling. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go knight d4, knight f5. I don't know what just happened. Um, go check, collect the bishop, end the game. No, I didn't lose the match, you guys. I'm still here. That was very weird. It's like OBS died, but nothing else died. Very strange. Thank you, Tobus Alpha 29. Buxa Buxa for the uh for the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Gambar for the 13 months. Go shock. Let's go shock. Go check again. Just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Take the pawn on B5. Oh, there was mate in one. I'm so bad at Yes, what the heck? Let's keep going. Still F? What do you mean still F? What do you mean still F? It's there's no F, you guys are trolling. Okay, let's go to 93. You're, you're trolling again. Okay. Disrespectful internet connection. Yes, you got yeah. Okay, you're you're just trolling me out of my mind. Okay, exciting. Exciting. Okay, let's go H3 and G4 here. Thank you. Yeah, so you guys, unfortunately, what that means, the problem is I'm going to have to get a new computer pretty soon. I think it's a computer issue because, like, my internet connection itself did not die there. So, unfortunately, I think I have to get a new computer. And this computer, which has been so good to me for so many years since, like, I started streaming, probably I'm going to have to uh, get a new computer soon, which is very sad. You know, OBS is updated, actually. OBS is updated, yeah. OBS is updated. It's not, an, it's just like, yeah, badge. How old is it? I bought it, I think, in 2019. Yeah, I bought it in 2019. Internet glitches by a whole computer. Well, it wasn't an internet glitch, you guys. It was an OBS issue. Like, OBS, basically what happened is my chess.com connection stayed strong, but OBS, OBS died, and, like, OBS died, and my chat stopped scrolling and updating. So, I don't Maybe it's not a computer issue. You guys tell me, but that's what happened. Like, the chat stopped scrolling, OBS died, but I was still connected to chess.com. So, if it's not a computer issue, you guys can tell me what it was, the, the techies. Yeah, you, you guys can tell me what it, what it is, um, if, if I'm just an idiot. So, I don't know. Is it packet loss or something? Okay. But I, I don't know. I don't know. It's my Commodore 64, you guys. I have not seen a Commodore 64 in... My God, when did I see... That's like... Probably, what, like 30-ish? It's, it's not yet 2025. It's probably like 28, 28-ish years. So, yeah, no, definitely not a Commodore. Yeah. Okay, let's go Queen C2 here. Floppy disks got stuck. Yeah, floppy disks, I have not used those in a long time either. That's actually how I used to, um, since there's so many people here who weren't alive back during the glory days of the internet, when I, when I was really young and studying chess in the late 90s, that's actually what I would do is I would, I would, um, I think at home we had a, we had a desktop. And so like, I think I had my chess files on the desktop and then like, I would put them on floppy disks so that I could look at them on a laptop when I was traveling. That's, that's how I would do it. So pretty crazy. Let's go B4, B5. You're a boomer. I know. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. When was the last time you visited New York city? I don't know. Pre pre pandemic at some point. Uh, let's play B5. I'll probably be in New York a couple of times this, uh, next year as well. Thank you so much to love the moss for the nine months. Thank you so much to love the moss. Just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. So, anyway, I'm not a technically I'm not an actual boomer, but still, I I, I feel like a boomer. Go H4 attack the knight. I remember using floppy disks in the early 2000s. But they died quickly. Yeah, floppy disks are they were only around for a brief period of time. I think a master for the prime. I think also on floppies, I might have had. I'm uh, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I think I, I think I had like Super was it Super Mario on, on like floppies maybe. Take. I guess I'm gonna go Bishop F1 here and Bishop H3. I don't know what I'm doing this game. I'm playing this actually quite poorly, but I'm still gonna win. Go C4. Let's go here. But <laughs> thank you, Elvis. Um, wait, I'm going to 
Castle. It's like move 27, so let's castle. Eval says you're losing. Thank you. Uh, that's not how this works, you guys. But thank you for telling me. Uh, did I watch him on Lawrence? I did not, you guys. I was fast asleep. I was fast asleep when the event started, so no. I didn't watch any. I didn't watch any of it. Um, so here, Rookie Eight, it's a big threat. So much Arsenal for the 17. Let's go here. Thank you so much to Cheese Louise for the the um for the eight months as well. B6. There should be something that's winning here. Rookie Eight's a move. I think Rookie Eight's a safe move because he loses the Queen. Queen just hangs here. But yeah, let's just take the Rook, take the Queen, and the game. Very simple. So yeah. Okay, let's play a three. Play the Anderson. I could play the Clemens opening. Let's play a three and h three. Oh, this is what we. This apparently is the creepy crawly formation. Creepy crawly. What? This is the creepy crawl crawly. That sounds suspicious at best. Um, let's play e three and d four here. That's what it says. Chess.com. It says it says Anderson opening the creepy crawly formation. I've never heard that in my life until now, but it's it's what it is. Go c4, open it up. Um, I guess I'll play knight e2. C5 traps the bishop, but there is a sack there that I don't want to allow. Okay, now he just blunders it anyway. This guy's awful at chess. Just take and play b4, knight b3, knight d4. Trying to amp up the disrespect again. A little bit too, too chill right now. Magus was asked about this in a chess 24 video. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe he was. I don't know. Uh, let's go knight d4, hit the bishop. Knight b5 is an idea. Uh, yeah. Tell him how awful is. I mean, he's awful. He's 1940, but 1940 doesn't mean what it used to mean. That that much is clear. Let's take a pawn. Thanks for that annoying mouse to get the sub. Appreciate. Thanks so much for annoying mouse. Appreciate. Thank you. Yeah. Where's the disrespect? Yeah. I'm a little bit too chill right now. Oh, what the heck? I thought I could take the pawn. I can't. Um. Go here. Trade some knights, maybe. Thanks for the Z dog for the prime. Thanks for stamper for the uh, ten months. Thank you to Lincoln Mendez. Wow, he spotted that. Good, good, good move. Actually, very, very good spot by my opponent. Yay! Probably I'll just go queen e two and rook g one. I'm still gonna win the game, but I gave him a little bit more than he deserved. Last time I lost a game uh, on the speed run, never. But but when did when did I last lose a game? I probably against Peravian in the SEC, if I'm guessing. King D8, let's play rook g1, go after the pawn. Pretty straightforward. Okay, we got the win. Next game. All pretty smooth so far. Um, I'm just going to again fling the poo. Play h4, h3. It takes, I'll go d6, win the pawn in h3. Almost 2k, almost 2k what? 2000 rating? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Uh, let's go bishop g4, hit the knight. I can take, play knight e5. All very, very good. Who do you think is better, Levy or Eric? Which Eric are you referring to? You mean Eric Rosen or Eric Hansen? Or Eric? There's probably another Eric that I'm forgetting somewhere down the road. These are just side peg leg for the 34 months. I can hit the pawn on d4, go e5. Queen b3 looks like a bad move, but it's not all that bad. I'm just going to castle. This is a little bit sketchy. Um, a little bit sketchy. So, it's all good. Eric Kurtz, who's that? I think this was a chop man for the prime. Um, a little bit scary here. We'll go g6 and bishop h6, maybe. When will Danny talk about upcoming on chess.com presentation saying big news are coming? I actually don't know. Uh, let's play 95 and hit the bishop. I have to be a little bit. No, this doesn't work. It's a great try. He tries to go for the Greek. I think it's called the Greek gift. But the Greek gift or the Trojan horse only works when um when your opponent isn't ready for it. And I'm ready for it, so you just lose. Thank you so much. Weeb Doggo for the prime. Thank you so much. Yeah, the Greek gift sometimes works, but it, it Greek gift or the Trojan horse, but it only works when your opponent's not ready for it. Yeah, our rating is over 2,000, so we're, we're, we're making progress slowly but surely. Let's go D6 here. Thoughts on the chess boxing event? I already said it. I think people enjoyed it. And no, you know, it seemed like it was a fun event. Nobody got injured, th thankfully. So 
Um, yeah, it seems like it was a success. I mean, I, I will say, though, it's not my thing. Um, so, yeah, it's not my thing. It's just take and take, and, I mean, this is all just garbage for my opponent. He doesn't know what he's doing. Plays knight f5 again. Another move that is just completely illogical and does absolutely nothing. I just take, play h5, trade the queens, win the game. King of Goya Guardian. Thank you so much to Goya. Appreciate it. Uh, let's play c6. King of Goya Bell's Town for the 32 months. Um, only problem is this bishop is a little bit pesky, so I guess I'm going to try to trade the b shops with bishop h6 and some kind of hit on the bishop here. Let's just take. Oh, somebody dislocated their shoulder? Wait, what? Wait, are you serious? I hadn't seen or heard that. Um, oh geez. Okay, let's go knight d7 here. Take with a pawn, of course. Oof. Go queen e6 here. Hit the pawn on c4. Um, I guess I'll go knight c5 to hit the bishop. Should be very good for me. H4, H3 maybe is an idea. Queen E3 is a good move. Um, I actually, this is the first game that I'm not playing particularly well. I guess I'll just run my king out. I mean, I have some tricks on the king side, maybe. Okay, I don't know what rook A6 really does. I'm just going to keep pushing, pushing P. These effects are really cool. Thank you so much. Knight d5 is a fancy schmancy move, but what does it actually do if I just put pressure on the rook? He gets ice skater. That's absurd. Absurd. Guy spends so much time getting to 2,000. I mean, that's supposed to be a decent level, and he, he just hangs an ice skater. Very poor. Very poor. Why am I 1800 rapid but 800 bullet? Because bullet is very, bullet is all about reaction and instinct that you have to hone from years of playing. Like, that's why people who are new to the game, I never recommend, recommend that they play bullet because bullet is all about your reactions. And if you haven't really played a lot of chess, it's, it's never going to go on. I guard the pawns with F3 here. Go D4, D5. Again, my, my man is just, I'm just pawning him in the center. 1895, really. This is what I'd expect a 400 to fall for, not an 1895. And just for the disrespect, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to take the knight. I'm just going to, I'm not even going to take it. Okay, let's just keep building a center here. Nobody cares. Let's just Yay! kick the knight out of town. Actually, how many pawn moves? Did I, I played, what, 11 pawn moves? Things are should Bob Vance for the eight months. GL today. 11 pawn moves and, um, terrible. Just absolutely terrible. Absolutely horrendous. Not good. Play h5 again. Keep it simple. Let's go h4. Horrible. Horrible. Um, let's play h3. Yeah, I did actually pawn him. Like, pun aside, I did pawn him. Literally. Go D5 here. Can someone rated 418 years old become a GM? No, that's not realistic. I'm leaking prep for the SEC. Um, I'm definitely not leaking prep. I haven't even done any prep for the SEC, so um, it's hard to be leaking prep. Go C5 and Knight C6 or Knight E7, Knight C6 maybe. I'll go here and Knight C6. What if you start at, what if you're 449? I mean, it's all relative. Let's go knight c6 here. No respect to the opponent. How am I supposed to respect these people? They're just terrible. They're just literally the worst. I mean, really? 2005? This is a 2000? For real? And this is where everybody who's playing, they're like 15, 1600 online who's watching the stream, they're like, what, what is this? Like, the 1500, 1600s, they never do this against me, let alone the 2000 rated player. What is this? So, yeah. These are just three stinky fingers for the 21 months. Thanks so much for three stinky, stinky fingers. fingers just subscribe. Levon said the online chess tournament loss doesn't hurt him so much. I mean, it's... it's 
online is definitely it's it's weird so in some ways it means more in some ways it means less it's, it's very hard to like sort of judge very very hard to judge just take the pawns i'm gonna go g5 here just keep pushing so here i want to go g4 and hit the queen Things are real icky for the nine months. Okay, now I go G4, tempo on the queenie. Let's just castle into everything. I may actually just switch to flinging the poo and playing black. It seems highly effective. Well, this is where there should be the classic disclaimer. Um, what, what is it? It's like professional, professional stunt driver do not try this at home or something. I think that's what it's called. Is, isn't that what they do in all the ads? It's like, this is a professional driver do not, do not attempt this at home or something. Thank, thank you so much to Luke. CYD for the 12 months. Let's go 93 here. QYD just resubbed for 12 months. Yay. If you have Amazon Prime Video, can you still get free Twitch Prime, Twitch Sub Prime? Yes, Nimzo Indian. If you have Amazon Prime Video, that means you have Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime subscription. So you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and subscribe free to one channel every single month. Of course, make sure it's my channel. You take five books out of your Prime subscription and put it towards a hardworking streamer. Thank you so much to ours, ours 11L for the 19 months. Thank you so much. Um, let's go check, attack the king. And I guess I'll just take, and I, I don't know, play like rookie eight or something, or e5 or something. I'm going to go e5 here. Um, I guess I'll just go here and hit the pawn. Oh my god, did I just blunder? I think I did. I did just blunder, what the heck? Ah, oh, shoot, this is bad. And yeah, now I have to refocus for a second. This, or wait, he takes the rook. Okay, so I take, I go here. Be a little bit careful. Thank you so much to, uh, thank you so much to Sore Ass World for the Prime. You guys, stop putting in evals in chat. You say it's like plus three, plus five. Stop doing that. Check. Let's take. And now it's like minus five again, so yeah. Um good D4 here. Have I need, seen the new stockfish rated 3000? No, I have not. What is that? Take the pawn. What do you guys mean? New stockfish. Go here, hit the bishop, and he's just done. Yeah, that's not good. I'm going to put both knights on the rim here. Do I miss LA? Yes, I do miss LA. Um, I miss LA a lot. Not not like because of like the stream stuff or and being like an esports hub, but because I really just I really like the the climate. I, I like just the general vibe and I do think long term at some point I will go back to LA. Just a question of when. Levy hates LA? That's not surprising. Levy's a New Yorker. Um, let's just take the pawn and go knight f7. Actually, I, maybe I play e5, knight g4 here. Too many libs in LA? Pretty sure Levy's very far to the left. Um, he's, he's even tweeted about various political topics. So I, I don't think that's why Levy doesn't like LA, but... Anyway, um, okay, let's go queen b6 and hit the knight here. <laughs> um, let's see what happens here. So, yeah. What do you like about LA and what do you like in the US? I'm asking as a European. Um, <laughs> as a Euro European, I mean, I, I think, oof, that's tough. That's, that's a tough question. Let me think on that one because there's no easy answer to that. Um, let's just castle. Want no water, polluted air, tons of influencers everywhere, completely plastic culture, move to LA. Well, I mean, for me, it's different. Okay, here's a fork. Let's go knight c5. I mean, I like LA, frankly, because I, I like the nature. I like all the mountains nearby, the San Gabriel's. I mean, it's very eclectic food-wise. Um, obviously, LA is a place that's very expensive, so, you, I mean, you have to be able to afford it. But if you can, I mean, I, I think it's very good. Um, it's, all, it's all relative. It's all relative. Just take... You guys that base Ruben thing you to Ibikidman for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm just gonna take and take with the take with the bishop. I guess I'll just play d5 or something, but it's it's all relative. It's all all relative. Play d5. 
But I mean, if, if we're talking objectively, I will say this, considering the fact that Europe is basically dead and, and the currency at least is like toilet paper, you can find really, really good deals. There are a lot of people I know who are like, who are looking to like retire to Europe and other things. So, um, you know, if you're looking for like that, that like, like a really affordable lifestyle where you get like great Mediterranean climate, everything else, like you go to like Greece or you go to Greece, Cyprus, you, you know, you go to like parts of Italy, there's some really, really, it's like really cheap compared to the U.S. And the quality of life is probably actually much higher than you'll get in a lot of places in the U.S. So um, it's, yeah. Yeah, I, I will say that. Like Europe, I mean, Europe, the euro is still better than the dollar. That's, that's one way of putting it, you guys. That's one way of putting it. Um, but yeah, I would say for me, like Greece, I, I always loved Greece. Like it was, it really, the vibe in Greece was amazing. Let's play H4 here. Europe is way too cold. The Mediterranean is not super cold. Um, let's go D5 here. Did I hear Levon's story on C Squared podcast? No, I didn't. Um, let's go C6. Play Knight C6, E6, Knight E7. Go E6, move the Knight. This is actually looking way too traditional. This guy's from Ukraine, so. Actually, big shout at him. I mean, he's, he's playing chess from Ukraine. Um, pretty wild. Let's go bishop d7 here. Okay, let's just develop the knight. So, anyway, yeah. I mean, Greece, I, I really think... I mean, Greece is great. You, you have, like, that Mediterranean climate. Everything is pretty, pr pretty cheap, relatively speaking. If you're, like, from the U.S., people are amazing. They're so chill, so laid back. Um... Yeah, I I would say if, if you if you were if you were um uh if you were um say A six if if like if if you want to go to Europe, like I, I think Greece is probably my favorite place. Someone says Lev was D E aiming, D and miming towards you. What what do you mean? I, I don't know what you mean by that. Not sure what you mean. Um play Bishop A three here. What do you mean D E miming? I, I don't know what that means. Let's go rook C eight here. Oh, he meant demeaning, but I don't think he said anything bad. I, I don't know. Maybe he did. I, I mean, why, why is that my concern? Um, go king d7 here. Uh, knight d1. Let me just play a5 and queen a6 here. Trade some queens. Baiters in chat. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're baiting, maybe you're not. I, I don't know. I don't really care either way. Yeah, he definitely didn't. Oh, you guys are just, just drama baiters? Okay. Yeah, shoot, he saw it. I'm in some trouble here, actually. Like, legitimately in some trouble. Hopefully I'm not getting mated here somehow. This is very scary. Hopefully I'm not getting mated. That's a mistake. I think knight c4, knight a3 was the winning, winning idea with the fork. Because now he loses a rook on c2. Yeah, if you guys ask me, like, Europe, because of how things have been going, I mean, I, I think, like, I, I would say, like, uh, Greece is my, my number one place. I, I, I really like Greece. Mainly also because, like, when, you know, and this is not intended as, like, a real insult, but I feel like when you go to Italy or you go to France, there still are these, like, they, they still haven't, they, they still have these, like, dreams of the glory days in a way that Greece doesn't somehow. It's like Greece, because their glory days were 2,000 years ago, everybody's so chill and it's all just like a big joke. But, but when you like, when you talk about, um, when you talk about like France and Italy, because it was more recent than that, it wasn't, the glory days weren't 2,000 years ago. It's kind of, kind of, I think people are a little bit too serious still about it all. Go f4 here. Uh, I'm not taking a draw. Why would I take a draw? Does he not realize who I am? Does he really not realize who I am? Why would I take a draw? Take the pawn and take the rook. So I can just make a check, win some pawns here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go check. 
Actually, I think I can take because I have rook a2 and rook a1 checkmate. Let's go here. Where in Greece, I mean, I, I thought Athens was great. Rhodes was pretty good when I was there. Um, but I mean, Athens was just like, I, I loved Athens. I think so much a tramp for the 12 months. I've never been to Portugal. I've heard great things, but let's play the creepy crawly again. I think it's just a big stinky daddy or big stink daddy for the six months. Let's keep developing. So here, 2040, we're slowly climbing up the leaderboard. Slowly, slowly. Portugal needs me. I've never been to Portugal, but I have heard great things about like Porto, I think specifically. So one day I'll go there. There or Lisboa. I mean, Lisboa, I've also heard good things about. Um, I guess I'll just mm, I'll go here. I don't know if this is right. Let's go knight c4. No chess in Portugal. Uh, I don't know. Not sure. Okay, I'm going to reroute my knight here. Maybe go bishop f4. Which one do you prefer, Germany or Spain? Well, I mean, I am basically like 12.5% German, so of course I would have to say Germany. G6 was a horrible move by me, by the way. Uh, I might actually have to focus here. Give me a second. Wait a second. That was a horrible have move by me. The beach, cafe opening? the beach cafe? I don't know what the beach cafe opening is. Go here. I have to complicate the situation. When I get bishop d5, this is tricky. Oh, he goes f4, which is just terrible. It's just absolutely horrible. Okay, now let's try to use d's knights, maybe. Let's use d's knights and get active. I'll go here, maybe. Don't know if it's right, but I'll do it. I think it's a Tony quote for the 20 and Old Bay for the 14. I mean, I've spent a lot of time in Spain over the years. So, I mean, it's like Spain will always be very near and dear to my heart. Just because a lot of the term, there was a term that I played growing up called the World Youth Chess Festival or Championship, and it was held in Spain. So, Spain will always be very near and dear to my heart for that reason alone. So, 97, take the, po take the, um, take the rook. And rook h1. I mean, this all should be pretty straight. Um, actually, I should kick the, kick the knight out of town. And then rook h1, rook h4, or queen b3. I think I'm just going to go for the safe route, though. Madrid is okay, but I personally am a fan of the south, like Barcelona, and like, um, and all the, all the towns around there I like. I also like northern Spain a lot, like um, Bilbao and San Sebastian um, are also amazing. Central Madrid doesn't really do it for me. I'm going to be, or not Madrid, sorry. Central Spain doesn't really do it for me. I'm a big fan of like, I'm a big fan of the north and the south. So many viewers. I mean, we have 7K, which is actually... Kind of low, but you know, Twitch has been down quite a bit lately, so it's it's what it is. Malaga, yeah, Malaga. I've never really spent time. Sevilla is very nice. Sevilla is amazing. Let's go check and him. Thank you. And um, work you one. Barcelona is not south. What do you mean? Wait, isn't Barcelona south? Wait, or is it? Wait, am I confusing it? No, the north is... Oh, it's east. It's, oh, it's, it's east. Because the north is definitely like Bilbao and San Sebastian. Yeah. No, north is definitely Bilbao and San Sebastian. What am I doing? I'm playing a normal opening. Okay, let's make it disrespectful. Or am I crazy? I don't know if I'm crazy or you guys are just trolling me. Barcelona, USA? Okay. Okay, I'm getting confused now. Morocco is better. I've oh, what the heck? What did I just... Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, sorry, I gotta focus. What am I doing? Okay, wait a second. What the heck am I doing? I'm actually not paying attention. I gotta turn it on now. Go here. Bishop b5 is... It's a move. It's not the best. Let's go knight f4. Turn on what? I need to turn it on. Yeah. Alhambra. Beautiful. I don't know. I've never, I've never been there. I've never been to Alhambra. My head was in Barcelona. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
That looks vaguely wrong. Vaguely, but whatever. Let's just take... I need to speed up here. I really need to speed it up. It's really gross, though. I'm actually just in bad shape in this game. I'm down three pawns, but time... I'm up a lot of time here, which... At some point should play. So let's go rook c4 and stack, I guess. Knight h5 too. Go here. Knight c3. Okay, let's go b5, b4. Now I can sack. I think b4's got to be right. They'll just keep it simple. Take. I think there's I was Florida man for the 13 months. I think there's so much I was Florida man. Okay, I take this step one in the wrong direction. Still not going to be easy to win this, but I'm up a lot of time. This too. Thanks. I guess I go here. I don't have to do this, but I'm, I'm down, what, three pawns, but... B3, okay, let's bring the king closer. Multiple ways, multiple ways to stop this pawn. I guess I'll just go here maybe and maybe rook a8. This is tricky though. Okay, let's go. Check. Go. Here and now I win the pawn. I think as long as I win the pawn without trading knights, I should win the game. Let's see what he does here. It should be fairly safe, but I, I mean, if I get this pawn without him being able to trade anything, I, I just win the game. Yeah, now that I just get the pawn, I'm happy. I could have thrown in the tickle check first too, but whatever. Um, so here in me, rook a3. He's got no time, so I should be able to just, just cheese him on the clock alone. Uh, uh, I have knight c5, I have knight f4. Now let's go check. Here and now I'm starting to squish him a little bit. This end game I'm down a or wait no I can just no I can just take and now I just win. Trade king e4. This should this must be winning. He's got double stacks and I just eat them. I just eat the pawn. Yeah, very easy. All right, let's keep going. Okay, let's keep keep playing a4 to start. We're pushing for 2100. Just c3, maybe b4. Actually, this is what I did against um, Peravian, right? I played this against Peravian in the SEC the other day. Something like this. Very similar where I just was playing the pawns. How respectful towards her... 2103, yeah, just making sure that I'm looking at the screen right. 2103, just making sure. Okay, he finds a way to kind of pretend that this wasn't a total blunder, but it doesn't change anything. I'll just go here, target the pawn. Kind of pretending. He's, he's pretending that he didn't blunder, but he did just blunder. I'll just take. I'm going to go here, line him up on the diagonal. He can obviously take, but I have queen a1. I'm looking for something. Multiple ideas. Go rook b1. Thank you so much to eat the juicer for the six months. Thank you so much to eat the juicer. Um, I'll just go here, hit the queen. I, I really want to line up some batteries. Let's take the pawn. Eh. A6 is a move. It's not the move I want to play, so I'll just go rook b1. Rook c1. He's actually playing. It's funny. Ever since he blundered, he's actually playing a lot better. Kind of funny. 
Do I think Andrea won the chess box match? I didn't I didn't watch it, you guys, so I can't really comment. I mean, I don't know, but my read is that basically she was stalling the chess, Dina was stalling in the boxing. It is what it is. It's a fun match, and you know, like stop taking it so seriously. That that's my general read. Like, stop taking it so seriously. <laughs> Two pieces for the Rook. Uh, I did have two pieces, but it's going to be... Uh, I'm just going to have an extra Bishop in a second. Just take the Rook. I guess I'll just go, I don't know, like H4 is fine. Maybe just Bishop B2, C3 is fine as well. But yeah. Is chess boxing, not boxing chess? So because that, by virtue of that, that means... That means what exactly? That means you're supposed to... If chess is more important? I don't understand. Let's go here and hit the queen. Yeah, I, I don't know what that means. I guess that's what it means. Are you proud of what you've achieved in chess? I mean, proud as I can be. Now, I'm going to try to go for a very extravagant checkmate. Oh, he's got 96 from this. So let's hit the rook. Rob underscore Dibble just took $5 out By H4. Thank you so much to the Watchman for the two and Rob Dibble for the five months. Thank you so much to Rob Dibble. Appreciate it. Thank you. It is what it is, as they say. So, yeah, I mean, again, it's a fun match. It's all it's all in good fun. I don't think anybody's going to lose sleep over the outcome. And if people want to get outraged, well, to each their own, I guess is what I would say. Because, I mean, it's a, it's not, like, some serious thing. Chess boxing is a good marketing strategy to popularize chess. Do you agree? Not really. I, I don't think it does anything really to, to, like, you know, market chess. I think most people watch because they want to see somebody get knocked out or get clocked. So... I don't think it changes anything really in the, in the, in the terms of the bigger picture. Um, again, I'm going to go for this little checkmate. I'm just going to go right back at him. Um, there's take back to a one. So I should react to the disguise toast match. Chess was actually insane. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, people watching is live, but like I said, again, like with a lot of things, my, 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 my instinct at least tells me that probably at the end of the day, the heck is this do i not have a good move here i guess i'll go here uh, i have to be very careful here because rook c4 is a big threat if i move he trades and i lose i just need to keep my extra pieces now i go here i trade and now i'm just still a piece um but yeah what was i saying but yeah i think at the end of the day people want to see somebody get get knocked out let's 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 be real okay let's go here trade some trade some rooks i guess i'll go check Oh, and then I just have bishop a3. Very easy, very easy. The best fight was myth versus Shirley. Horrible, horrible chess, but great boxing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Let's just take the pawn. Good check. Go here. I mean, he's looking for a stalemate, but it just doesn't exist. The best step was GM Amon. Hmm. Like I said, I didn't want I didn't watch any of it, so like I, I mean can't really comment specifically, but yeah. Um check. A four. Should be a mate somewhere in here. Um uh, let's go rook g5, guard. Let's take was I invited to be there? I mean I never asked, so um there's no stalemate, right? No stalemate, so now I just cut him off, make the queen easy. Let's go d7, d8, and go from there. Time to resign, my friend. Time to resign. Let's keep going. It should definitely not be taken seriously, yeah. Um, okay, let's go back to the orangutan. We're playing at u10 again. I think this is the same guy I played earlier. Let's go b5 here. Yay! Thanks so much to t Yes, N, 8, N for the 16 months. Let's go Bishop B2. Make seven queens not so easy sometimes. Also, I don't want to mess up the perfect record. That's the other thing. You just don't want to mess it up. I mean, it's really important that you don't mess it up. What is trying to end him? It means finish the game. Finish him. Yeah. Finish him. I mean, every, everybody's seen Mortal Kombat, right? Or am I just that much of a boomer that it's out of, out of fashion? Maybe I'm just that out of fat, uh, that out of uh, tune with um, with everything. Ninety two. Let's 
Go C6, I'll play C4 here to open it up a little bit. Ground, what is Mortal Kombat? Yes, thank you. Don't make, don't make me feel any older than I am, you guys. Don't make me feel any older than I am. Back when I was young, that game was actually popular. But... Uh, kids these days, they don't even know what Mortal Kombat is anymore. Shame. What world do we live in? All right, I'm going to take... And castle here. Trade everything. New Tekken's coming out? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get over here, Mortal Kombat voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He goes Bishop G6. I'm going to play Bishop B5 to hit the Rook on E8. Go here, hit the Rook on... B8. I don't know if that does anything. It doesn't, so I guess I just trade the queens. I thought I had a way to trap something, but I don't. Okay, I guess I'll go bishop a6 to hit the rook, and then rook c1. Curious chimpanzee. This is actually way too much like a traditional game now, but it's good enough. I think there's a curious chimpanzee for the tier 1. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Being so much zoomer not knowing what Mortal Kombat is, yeah. Well, I saw when I hit 2100, maybe for, uh, maybe for today. So we have other stuff to cover as well, not, not just this. Um, go here to hit the rook. And probably drop the bishop back to f1. Go back to f1, keep it safe. It goes king f8, I'll just take the pawn. I mean, it's just routine. Start running the pawn. I don't care about anything else, actually. Just keep running this bad boy. Nothing else that actually matters. Do I watch my own YouTube videos? Not frequently, no. Sometimes, but not, not regularly. I guess I'm going to go here, put the rook behind the pass pawn, and now it's just very easy. I move the pony, push the pawn, very easy. I think it's going to Rainier for the two months. The next SCC match will be today against Levon Aroni. I guess in about four hours or four and a half hours or something like that. I, I don't know. Something like that. Something like that. So, it's all good. Is he just stalling out? He's being a stalling Andy? A little bit. They were playing a 2100. Very serious chess player. Offer the trade of the pawns. Play C5. I guess I'll just go G3 and play this like a Banoni. Let's go bishop g2, probably d3. Knight e2 or something. And probably h3 somewhere in here. This is such a vibe. Thank you so much. Go h3, kick the bishop out of town. I'm probably going to play g4 somewhere in here. I don't know quite when. Oh, whoops, I hung that. What the heck? I just hung that completely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was bad. Go here. He takes. My God, 2100, and he just takes this and he messes it up in one move. And now he can just resign. Absolutely horrible. 2100. 2100. 2100, and he just messes everything up in one move. And he's just, it's time to, time to resign, my friend. Time to resign. Pathetic. Really, really pathetic. What more needs to be said? Pathetic. Go here, take the pawn. Game over. Yeah, it's just game over. Um, I can take the take the knight. I don't have to. It's everything's kind of winning here. It's a question of what I want to do though. Not, knight f two is much safer objectively. Knight actually knight d six is maybe strong. Rude, I know, absolutely. Very, very rude and disrespectful. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I can take off the gloves with the trash talk now as I'm above 2k. A little bit, yeah. With Sinister Magnus, he cards all. We've been over this a few times. Um, my understanding of, of Sinister Magnus is that was most likely Jan Napomniachi. I've heard that, I mean, a couple different people said that. Um, and of course, also, there were times when he was playing and I was playing, I believe. So it's not me, obviously. 
but thank you for the suggestion. Can you switch to Pigeon Crush for the Prime? I think it was I think it was Nepo. I'm 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 pretty confident it was Nepo. Wait, why do I have this song on my playlist? What the heck? Speaking of Nepo, wait, why do I have this song on my playlist? What the heck? No, no, sorry, I gotta change it. Sorry, I gotta change the song. Speaking of Nepo right on cue, it's like, why is that playing? Take. Go check. Uh, I guess I'll just go here or something. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? I know that was one of those commie national anthems. Like, please. We ain't commies here. We're capitalists. Okay. Anyway. Now we know he car really sports. Yeah. So, yeah. Mods played a prank, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It goes rookie eight. So I go rook f1, stabilize it. And yeah, it should just be winning. Yeah. No, no, no. That's not. Thanks so much to Namas Gallery for the 26 months. No, that's not where you want to be. No you don't want to be there. That's that's a yeah. If you want to hear about communism and all that stuff, you might want to go watch that streamer Hassan Abby. Um, you know he's all about that commie, that commie stuff. But we're we're capitalists here. Let's go check and check, and this is mate. If he blocks, he gets smothered, mate. Is smothered, mate, actually. But let's keep going. I play you go easy on me yeah so how much time is the sc versus levon uh i think four and a half hours or something like it's supposed to be 3 p.m eastern let's go g3 bishop g2 go c4 i did disrespect Pravian a little bit when we played the sec a little bit i'm gonna go here put a lot of heat on the center because now he doesn't have the pawn go here i can actually take and this is why, I mean, 2070s just don't know how to play chess either. If, you, if they don't have their setup system, uh, they just fold, like, they fold really, really, really quickly. So, anyway. They're just winning. Game over. If you have a child, would you let him beat you in the first game against you? No, of course not, you guys. This, that, that relates to the poker stream we did the other day, where it's like, you don't just give things away for free. People got to earn things. You got, you, someone's got to earn it. You, you can't just like let them win just because. You got to earn it. That's how life works. I know some people think that you know we live in like some world where everything should be free and handed out, but that's not reality. That just isn't reality. Let's take and take the pawn at e4 and go f3 and b3. Go f3, consolidate the center here and go from there. What did I think of Amon's fight? I, of course, I didn't see any of it, but it sounds like he, he did good prep, and, I mean, it was just better than Lawrence. That's what it sounded like, at least. Um, at least that's what, that's what it sounded like. I didn't, obviously, like, I, I didn't watch it. I mean, first game, maybe you can, but just in general, I, I don't... I mean, in general, you, you can't just, like... I mean, you gotta earn things in life. That's how it works. You gotta earn it. Play H4 here. Not the only move. So... No. Uh, I remember an interview where you said your aspirations improved a lot. Professional player let you win a few times. That was the very first time I played, and that, that sort of got me interested. But, I mean, again, it depends on the context, obviously. But in general, I don't think you should just lose on purpose. Of course, if there's a huge gap difference that, where it's, like, zero chance, and maybe that's different, obviously. Like, if, if there's zero chance, like, yes, you're right. If I had a kid and I played him, there's zero chance of winning, then maybe that's a little bit different. But if you're in a situation where it could be, like, comparable... I think it's a very bad idea, just in general. Let's go king here. Eh. Not playing this very well. I'm actually misplaying this quite, quite a bit. Things are just dark for the nine months. Queen g6, however, very bad move. Um, now I'm completely safe. Everything's consolidated. This should be... I'll go back. I don't really like my position that much, but... If he plays rook c8, start of a wrong plan. He's going to lose his pawn. And now I should win pretty cleanly. My sad that Dina won, you guys, I was asleep in bed. It was not, it was not even a thought on my mind. So it's, it's, it's not like I'm happy or I'm sad or anything. Um, I, I don't know what you, I mean, what do you want me to say? These are just annoying maps, so I get the sub, appreciate it. 
I mean, what, what, I mean, am I supposed to take it seriously or something? Like, it's, it's a fun event, it's an exhibition, it is what it is. Like, who cares? I think there's a Razu Rectu for the Prime. Uh, let's go here in 95, I guess. Am I indifferent? Well, I mean, I, I didn't watch it, I was asleep. Like, I, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to have a strong opinion. I mean, I'm up, how many pawns? I'm up like 20 pawns here. Let's just go queen e4. Don't let him fool you. He's wearing these sunglasses because his eyes are red from crying about it so much. Yeah, exactly. True. 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 Just take. Okay, let's see. He goes rook d8. I'll play rook d1 here. Very straightforward here. Smash chess was cringe in school. They teach the advanced kids chess and the remedial kids play Smash. Really? I didn't know that. Maybe. Let's go rook d7 here. Knight e4, maybe knight g5. This game's been over for a long time. Can I react for five hours to chess boxing stream? I don't think so. Not today, you guys. Or I meant to go to D7, but whatever, it's fine. Don't let him fool you. His eyes are red because he's still sad about the candidates. Yeah, I'm just devastated, you guys. All these months later, I'm still devastated about it. It's like, I, I could have qualified for a world championship match. I'm, I'm super devastated. Okay, let's go check and make a queen. Um, is there a forced mate here? I guess there probably is somehow. This is checkmate. Can I open with a disrespect gambit? Sure, let's play the Colorado gambit. No, he didn't take it though. Let's play h5. Good d5. This might actually turn into something very scary for my opponent really quickly. It's actually like a really good Stonewall Jackson. I go like g5, g4, and just kill him on the king's side. Good g4. It's actually very scary. Go h4. And very scary. When am I playing SEC later today? Do I know the capital of Peru? The capital of Peru should be Lima, right? Like a Lima bean? Or sorry, yeah, Lima, like a Lima bean. Although wait, actually it's a Lima bean, right? It's not a Lima bean, but whatever. Anyway, let's go King D8, right? It's, don't you pronounce it Lima bean? But it, the, the city's Lima, whatever. Anyway, yeah. It's not, a, it's, it's, you pronounce it Lima, right? Isn't it Lima bean? The, the, the bean, I mean. It's lima bean, but yes, the capital is Lima. Yeah. Tomato, tomato. Okay. Yeah. Let's take the pawn. Uh, I guess I'll just go here and rook g8. Just go all in. No need not to. Can you search the most supreme juice for the 15 and HR Haganico for the 33? Think so. just subscribe. Yeah. 30 Thank you so much for the 33 months. Do you think chess.com should add more points if you win uh, 10 in a row? I, I don't know. Not sure. Juice just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. All right. Waiting for a move from Zudaka. I speak Turkish. No, I don't speak Turkish, unfortunately. How was your birthday? Pretty basic. Um, I just ordered ordered a little bit of food, went to went to bed. Like nothing, nothing very fancy. Very very routine. Very routine. I know at my age I don't celebrate birthdays anymore. It's just one year closer to death. I know that sounds morbid, but that is the unfortunate reality. Um, I guess I'll just try to line up a triple stack at some point here. I'm just going to line up maybe the double into the triple. Oh, I gave him bishop e1, which is stupid. I guess I'll play h3. I'm going to sidestep. I really am going to, I'm going to play for f4 to blow open everything here, but I have to be careful how I do it. can't just do it randomly. I'm just waiting for Sinister Hikaru to show up and play Sinister Magnus. <laughs> that would be funny. But again, I, I don't, I mean, Nepo would have to create that account to begin with. 
Actually, I think I'm just going to take. This must be winning with the double stack. Should be winning. Thanks for the go cool for the gift of sub. Thanks so much to go cool. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to go cool for the uh, gift of sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. He takes. I mean, with the stack here, this double stack, this has to be just crushing. Which anime am I watching? I don't really watch anime, you guys. Sorry. Let's just take. I mean, I'm assuming that somehow I'm mating him here. Let's go back. I'm lining up something very nasty here. I was lining up a queen f3 rook g1 checkmate, but this is also, I think, a forced checkmate. Yeah, let's just checkmate. Yamete Kudasai? Okay, thank you so much. Anime is so cool now? Maybe it is. It's not my jam. What can I say? Sorry. Does winning ever get tiring? Winning never gets tiring because it's a reminder of how bad I am at most games. So, although, although having said that, actually, I, I won three solos in a row at Fortnite yesterday. So, I do win at other games. And I actually won um, in duos as well. I think it's much Talha for 33 months. So, um, go H5 here. The D6. Yeah, Wicked, exactly. Yeah, against real people. I won three solos in a row. Play E5 here. Is this blindfold? Yeah. I have streamed Fortnite before. Not recently, but I have streamed it. Yeah. Is there a way to suffer free? Well, you guys, if you have Amazon Prime, um, you know, you pay for your Amazon Prime to get free shipping, Prime Video, um, Thursday Night Football, and a lot of other things as well. You can connect your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime and subscribe free to one channel every single month. Take five bucks out of that yearly subscription to Amazon Amazon Prime and put it towards a hardworking streamer, being me, of course. Take money away from Jeff Bezos, put it in the pocket of hardworking streamers. Amazon already has way too much money, even with stock price being depressed of late. I think sub 90, if I'm not mistaken. Um, even with the price at $88, um, again, they have way too much money, put it in the pocket of hardworking streamers like myself. So make sure to use that Prime. It does not auto renew because, of course, Amazon does not want you taking five bucks away from them every month. But if you do that, you will not get ads or anything else. So highly recommend it. Um, let's go to knight c5 and hit the pawn on, um, on e4. Am I in the recession? What do you mean, am I in the recession? I think it's just sofa, soap neo for the prime. What do you mean, am I in the recession? I don't know what you mean by that. Let's block with a knight. He trades queens. Big mistake against any grandmaster, but he doesn't know I'm a grandmaster, so maybe it will work out for him. Thank you so much for chaser quick for the four months. Thank you so much for the four month resub with prime. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, I guess I'll play bishop d3 here. I know what you mean am I in the recession, though. I don't know what you mean by that exactly. Nerdy a5, a4. Thanks so much at nerdy gender gaming for the seven months. Thank you so much. Um, it's actually not trivial. Hmm. I guess I'll just go here knight f5, maybe. Twenty twenty three is recession year. That's what they say. I mean, again, it's all relative. Like to be honest, like I, I was probably a little. I wasn't like crazy young, but I was young when we actually had the the huge crash in two thousand eight, two thousand nine. But everything I see related to travel, travel specifically, I would say, um, looking at the the fact that I think ninety percent of mortgages right now are under four and a half percent are uh, the ones that have been have been um of the existing mortgages i don't really feel it personally I, I know like i'm not an economist but based on what i've seen it doesn't feel the same and i i don't really i don't really i don't really think it's coming i don't actually i'm just not buying it i i really am not buying it i mean it just it feels different somehow to me so yeah that, that's just my general take obviously again i'm not an economist but I, based on what I've seen and, and, you know, just like even 2008, nine, when, 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 you know, when I was old enough to at least like see what was happening, it doesn't really feel, it doesn't feel like it to me. I mean, everyone talks about a housing crash. I mean, yes, prices are down, but with 90% of the existing work just having been initiated under, under four and a half percent, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. You look at travel, travel is booming. A lot, a lot of, a lot of people have said, or a lot of the analysts have said that 2023 is going to be a very, very good year for the airlines. Um, again, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but 
I don't know. Nothing I've seen makes me really like think that. Uh, let's play rook a1 and trade. People are traveling. There's no recession. Not exactly what I'm saying, you guys, but a knight of six here. I'm just saying in a recession, people don't have money. They don't have money for these things. Trade the rooks. I'll go rook a2 here. So go rook b2, put pressure on the pawns here. I mean, this pawn is hanging at some point. Um, now I can take on b4, but actually I probably shouldn't do that. Somehow I've actually, I think, misplayed this a little bit. Yeah, I've misplayed this more than a little potentially. Yikes. Uh, I guess I'll go e4 anyway. But I'm up on clock, so I should be fine. People always have money that isn't what defines a recession. True, but if you look at 2008, 2009, I mean, I don't know. It's, it felt worse. Also, look at look at the job market as well. I mean, what unemployment is still st unemployment is still sub four percent, right? Or am I crazy? Um, wait, go here and take, I guess. Yeah, I mean, unemployment is still sub four percent. So again, like I said, I mean, it, it it all depends how you look at it, but it it just ge generally it feels different. Go here in king e7. Go d5. Go rook c4. Maybe b5, b4. Go here, run the king up. Let's take and go here. We get the win. Let's keep going. Next game, um, let's go back to the uh, orangutan. That was a solid game. It was pretty good, yes. Oh, we're 2100 now? Yeah, slowly pushing up, ever so slowly. Speed is amazing, even with a blindfold, yeah. Go here. Knight f3. Things are just an eschemology for the prime. I think I'm actually in really, really good shape here so far. Knight f3. I've done, I think I did a blindfold speed run already a long time ago. Rating goal is 3,000 eventually, but it's going to take a long time to get there. Um, I'll play knight d4. I don't know if I like knight d4. I'm not being very disrespectful. Yeah, I got off on another tangent. I guess I'll take and play like b3, try to open up something here. It's not really all that great. What do I think of the Mogul chess box event? Like I said, you guys, I didn't I didn't watch it. So um I was just reading about it when I woke up, but I didn't watch it. Sounds like it was a fun event. People enjoyed it. Nobody really got hurt, at least from what I saw. So seems like seems like it all worked out for everybody. Thank you so much, uh Gear Hybrid for the 10 and I'll speed for the two. Thank you so much. GYR hybrid just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, okay. I guess I'll play knight b3 to hit the bishop. I can take the take the knight. It's all pretty good here. Andrea was robbed. Okay, some egos got hurt. <laughs> you mean like Lawrence? Is that what you mean? You mean Lawrence? I assume that's what you're referring to when you say egos got hurt. Um, But, yeah. Yeah, Trent talked and got done in. Yeah, well. Yeah, what can I say? What can I say? He takes. Um, I can actually wait. I can. If I take, there's some weird trick with a check, so I don't want to do that. So I guess I will just take and take. Let's just take the knight and then take the pawn. So, yeah. Queen b5 is actually a good move. Um, how do I do this? I can just castle, I guess, and play rook e1 and knight f1. Keep it very simple. Yay! Things are to Andy, Andy Foz for the two months. Things are to Andy Foz. Appreciate it. Okay, now I get queen c3, pressure on the pawn. An endgame where he's weak pawns, he's, he's, he's done. He can resign. 
they have to be safe people gonna get hurt the chess players not boxers of course i mean that, that at the end of the day that's one thing that i think people for some reason consistently are are, are forgetting is that these are not boxers i mean they, these are content creators chess players um these are these are not <laughs> these are not professionals it's kind of important to remember that So here I have knight of five. Quick check, take the rook, good night, bye bye. Next game. Play on the other wing. Let's push some pawns. 2100 is pretty good for a weekend warrior. Yeah, it's very good. Thank you so much to Grandpa Simpson. Thank you so much to Abe for the uh, six month resub. Hope all is good in Springfield. So here, play like knight f6, maybe d5. He's just one surrier for the three months. He's still, oh, he's still alive in the show, right? I mean, I obviously haven't watched The Simpsons in many years, but he's still alive, right? Or not. Two hundredth game, yep, indeed, indeed. I mean, I, I just, I haven't watched the show in like, I don't even know how many years. Go here and trade some knights. Does anyone actually die? I mean, Santa's little helper died, right? Santa's little helper died. And didn't um no, who else died? Was it Ned's? No, was did um did Principal Skinner? No, who who was it? Someone else, didn't someone else die? One of the, like, relatively main characters? I don't remember which one it was. I thought, was it, was it a teacher? Or was it Maud? It was Maud? Okay. It was just, it was just, it was just Fl Fl Flanders' wife? Okay. Yeah. Play F6 and open up the position here. Oh no, it was Edna. It was Edna Cra it was uh, Cra Miss Crabapple, right? That's what I was thinking of. I wasn't thinking of Ned's wife. I was thinking of uh, Miss Crabapple. That's what I was thinking of. Um, okay, I can just go F5 and attack the queen. That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of Crabapple, not um not um not um not uh not 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 Flanders' wife. Do I hate Ludwig? Why would I hate Ludwig exactly? Let's play rook a7 here. Just because I didn't attend the event? Or, I mean, what, what are you guys talking about? All right, I can obviously take the pawn here, which I think I will take, and play like knight c6 here. Am I going to wear the shades versus Levon? No, that's a serious match, you guys. I mean, like, Joking aside, like, it probably theoretically is possible to be cheating. Like, I mean, if you think about Google Glass, for example, um, Google Glass, I think, I think, I think you could, you could browse and do other things. I mean, I actually did get Google Glass and what a waste of money it was at the time, but, um, it's, yeah, no, definitely not. And now this guy is, let's go here, maybe Queen C5. So many baiting questions, exactly. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if I, yeah, like, I know, like, it's all in good fun when we're concentrating, but it's a serious event. There's thousands of dollars on the line. Like, I mean, it's quite different. I think there's a queen of KP for the performance. And honestly, frankly, like even if it was kind of allowed, that would be very borderline doing that against someone like Levon. I mean, very, very borderline. Okay, now I have to be careful here because I've misplayed this. Um, we'll go here. Go D4, D3 ideas, all good. What I think about the fusion announcement, what is fusion announcement? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Y'all are y'all are confusing me today. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. A lot of very strange, strange questions that I don't really understand. Fusion energy? What are you talking? You're talking cold fusion's been debunked. Cold fusion's been de debunked. It's it's a it's it's been proven to be false. There's no such thing as cold fusion. So what are you guys referring to? Um, the rookie two here, and and, and like rook c eight, rook c two. Well, let, let me Google it. Let's play rook c eight. What what are you talking about? Fusion announcement. Let me see this. 
U.S. science expecting us long-awaited nuclear fusion breakthrough. Um, actually, this is a speed run, so let me not read an article and burn extra time. Massive stuff and distance unleash infinite source. Oh, wait, what? Resulting in net energy gain? Result of that experiment would be a massive step in a decades-long quest to unleash an infinite source of clean energy? Whoa. Really? Whoa. Whoa, actually... Wait, that's not a joke, actually. Go H5. Wait, that's not a joke at all. Wait. Not a joke at all. Um, let me take the pawn. If it's legit, obviously. If it's legit, which remains to be seen. Without knowing what you're talking about, it's a joke. Okay. <laughs> okay. So King H7. I'm going to actually just push the pawns. I think I'm pushing P again. Let's go H4, H3. I don't think you can stop the mate. Go here, and he just he can't stop the mate. There we go. That actually sounds really exciting, though. That's when is that? Is that tomorrow? I mean, that's like literally. Isn't that like just completely world changing? If it's actually true. Go e5. I just have a pawn on h5 for no good reason, but I do. Take the knight, trade. Go c6. I'm going to put my king on c7. Go h4, king c7. No no knight jumps. Very important the pawn blunts it. I'll go here. If he takes, he loses the bishop. Go here. Hey, Car, tuning in after a long time. Hope you're well and kick some you know what in the SEC. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Looking forward to it. Things that we should dub Nation for 29 MDN to the max with Prime. Uh, you guys are talking about Nihal a little bit as well. Um, I have to say, like, I am actually stunned that in China, where Ding is, you know, he's playing for a world championship, he, apparently the Chinese government can't give him, like, a super high-end internet connection. Like, he, he's had disconnection issues for the last, like, three years in various online events. And I'm just shocked that the Chinese government can't, can't you know, help him out. Um, somehow I don't actually, this will go here maybe. Go bishop b4, attack the knight on c3. Thanks so much to CJ0467 for the five subscribe. months. Subscribe. We'll just go here. I mean, this should just be winning. His pawns are really, really not very exciting. I mean, he's got two sets of isolated double stacks. This can't be good. Um, let's just go, uh, although maybe it's not so bad. We'll go here. And it's not actually as bad as it should be somehow. Go here, target the uh, king. We'll go here. I didn't have to do this, but now there's like knight of five and other tricky ideas. I can play e4. I can also just go knight of five and eat the pawn, I guess. Eat the pawn, drop back, very straightforward. I'm going to play funny openings against Levante. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I haven't really decided yet. I'll decide when the match begins. Go here. Take the take everything off. Time to resign, pal. Yeah, he does resign. Test boxing host was so cringe yesterday. Aha. Okay. Okay, let's play H5 here. Go H4 again. When's my next SEC match later today? Jerma wasn't at his best. I mean, I, I don't really follow. I mean, those, those are guys that are the whole smash thing. I don't I don't really follow any of that. So it's a little bit outside of what I'm familiar with. Let's go E5 here. Go C5. I mean, this is not really very special. Your opponent is Clown Pusher. You won't. Oh, right. Clown Pusher is one of my other speedrun names. Clown Pusher. You won't. This is this looks like a like a troll. It's Levon, no, but it could be a sniper for sure. Good G6 here. For six months. Free. He's going to die camp for the six months. German isn't a smasher. Ah. 
I mean, I, I don't know much about these guys, honestly, but let's go a6, probably knight d7. Very straightforward. So here, why do I have the Google prototypes on? These aren't Google prototypes, you guys. Knight f6. Play the Botez Gambit against Levon. Yeah, good one, you guys. Good one. I mean, it's a serious match. There's money on the line. There's prestige. A little bit different. Chess won the Game of the Year award? What? No, it didn't. You're trolling. Chess did not win Game of the Year. Um, let's go here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a good troll, you guys. Good troll. I think I'm going to sack a pawn here. I'm going to try to play as like a little bit of a Benko Gambit, kind of. Yeah, didn't Elden Ring, Elden Ring ex Bill Clinton win or something? Wasn't it? Didn't Bill Clinton win Game of the Year or something? Or whatever, whatever it was. Something, something really weird happened, right? I'm going to go King F8 here. Let's take the pawn. Maybe knight b6 here. Go here, trade some bishops. There's knight c4, big threat, big, big threat. He finds knight g5, which is kind of a problem. I guess I'll go here. This is a little bit sketchy. I'm still okay, but I, I gotta move quick now. Go here. I'm trying to mate him on the queen side somehow. I guess I'll go knight a4 to trade some knights. Three. I take, and now a2 is hanging, and he's in trouble. Okay, I go here, and I think white's... This is 2,000 level? Really? 2,000 level. I don't think so. I don't think so, pal. This is not a 2,000 level chess. Thank you so much to Cheese and Mammies for the Prime. Thank you so much. Let's take with the Knight. There's no, no repetition, right? Check, check. And I, I escape out this side. I just go off this way and I escape. So. I should wear sunglasses against Levon. I'm not. I mean, no, you guys. I'm not allowed to. And even if I was, I wouldn't do it. We played e5. Okay, so let's play this like a Carl Kant. Just e3. I can obviously take, play e3. Whoa, he took with a pawn. That's wild. Let's go here, knight f4. I did what against Magnus exactly, you guys? What did I do? Go here, hit the pawn. Knight f4 next move. Target this, this one. Oh, I wore shades against Magnus. That is true. I did do that. I went to the local mall um, in St. Louis County and bought bought some shades for that uh, for that match in 2014. At the time, I think that was still considered like that was still kind of. I think that was legal, but that's become like illegal in more recent times. Like I think back then it was still kind of okay, but now it's not okay. That's a good move. I'll go back. It's so soothing watching you. Thank you so much. Was I worried about hypnotists? No. Um, I, no, I remember someone told me they were like, you, you should just, um, they, they told me you should just, um, they're just like, you should, you should go, you should wear some sunglasses against Magnus. I don't remember why they told me that, but they did. And then it's like, so I'm like, okay. Three hours before the games at the time, I was, I was in St. Louis. I, I, I went, I drove to the mall. Um, I think it was the Galleria in St. Louis. I think that's in the county, if I'm not mistaken. Let's play IC5 and G3. And, and so I just drove to the mall. I bought some, bought some shades, and that's that. That's the story. Oh, I hung a pawn. Shocking. Um, I didn't mean to hang that. That was kind of stupid. Let's go B5 trade and get aggressive here. Is 1900 bad if I've only been playing a year? That's freaking amazing. 1900 online in like one year of playing? That's very, very good. That's very good, actually. Shoot. 
I'm going to go back. I'm going to run my king out here and try to do something on the queen side. It's a little bit scary. Yeah, I've misplayed this quite a bit. I'll still probably win, but not ideal for sure. No, 1900 after a year is definitely possible. 95, but that doesn't really scare me that much, I don't think. I just keep sliding. Keep sliding out of dodge. Goes knight f3, which is a reasonable move, but the only problem for my opponent is that he's shifting everything over to this side of the board. And there's nothing really on the queen's side anymore, which is where my king is. I'm going to go here. I should have gone bishop a4, b3. Okay, I guess I'll go here, target the pawn. He's also got no time either, which does not help. Thirty-eight seconds and counting. Time is running a little bit low here. Um, I can probably gobble. I think I can actually grab. I'm gonna grab it. Go a six. A seven. Yeah, because if he takes, I queen with check. If he goes rook eight, I just take the take the rook. There's no pin. That's game over. You guys ever said the real Jimmy Butler for seven months? He's back. I haven't left over six months. I think he's giant Tazi for the eleven months. I mean, I can't always do math, but I think that's game over. The Jimmy Butler just subscribed. Yeah, thanks so much to Jimmy Butler. Hope all is well in uh in Miami. You guys ever said Nick Corey Badenera for the twenty four months? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Nick Robotanera just subscribed. Okay, he plays E4. I'm just going to play A5 here. Nothing too exciting. Am I doing a collab soon? I think I think on like Wednesday or something, I do a collab with Hafu, but I don't think it's chess. I think we're doing something else. Um, okay, again, I'm playing a Karo Khan with the pawn in A5. It's only moderate disres moderately disrespectful. This is a 2200, though, so I'm going to grill him when I beat him. Let's, let's, let's see his fancy schmancy. Um... Okay, dude, let's play an IPD7. This guy clearly is from that's Vilnius, right? Latvia, Lithuania, yeah. Um, let's go here. Knight B6. Maybe knight f5. Okay, plays a3. Terrible move. Now he gives me this great bastion on c4. He can maybe play knight c2 to stop it, but not ideal. I go knight c4, hit the bishop. Now I've got a great knife on c4. I can further reinforce with b5 or queen a6. I don't understand that move. Let's put our other pony forward to f5. When I'm playing with Hafu, I'm not sure yet, actually. Okay, he plays knight d2. I'll reinforce the bastion. Um, I think I'm doing very well here. Chat GPT segment today? No, you guys. But actually, speaking of Chat GPT, uh, actually, maybe after this game, I'll read you guys a little Chat GPT that I saw from someone I know on um, on um, on 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 Twitter from the other day. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Play a show. I'll go Bishop E seven here. Okay, knight e2 is played. I can just trade the queens. Play like c5, take with a bishop here, and it's all very, very good. Um, let's go. Actually, let's go h4 to stop this g4 push because I have n peasant. And then I can play like king d7 and rook, rook hb8. Leak? Yeah, yeah, I'll show it to you guys after the uh, game. Who's there? I guess I'll just move my king. 2200, and he plays f3. Horrible. Absolutely abysmal. 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 This is this is what 2200 is these days. Absolutely abysmal. Let's just go back. Not acceptable. Let's play rook d8. Uh, I'm just going to take. And it's not even the cleanest way to win, but it wins. He's nervous because he's playing you, apparently. Yeah. This is game over. Rook d2, I just slide the rook. All kinds of problems here. And that's game over. Let's just take. Go check, check. 
I mean, he's not 2,000. This guy's 2,200. This is like supposed to be a legitimate, legitimately good player. Oh, is he not going to resign? Okay, well then, sorry, pal. All right, Bishop G4 is stalemate. I, that's the only thing. I don't want to make a stalemate here. Okay, there we go. We get the optimal setup. We have the eight bishops set up. So bishop c1 is actually checkmate, I believe. Oh, is bishop c1 checkmate? I think it is. Yeah, this is checkmate, right? Checkmate, yeah. Let's keep going. Next game. Yeah, just a clean eight bishops checkmate. Too many darks for bishops a tragedy. That's that's life. That's how it goes. What did you just see? You saw something that you should never have to see. Play e3 here. I don't have enough bishops, yeah. Just c4. Things I was just see care over the three months. I keep my underpants, but nobody will see this message. <laughs> okay, dude, whatever. Let's play knight c3 here. Um, thanks for the age of Kuna for the prime. Uh, let's just go here. All right. Um, he let you bishop him right. Bishop him right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he did that, but he did. Love how you mocked his disrespectful play. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm going to take and take now. In the end, the church always wins. There are a lot of things that I could say to that that I will refrain from saying, just out of respect, because there probably are people who are, who are fans of the church. But yes, the, the bishops always, always get away with it, right? That's what happens. Let's play rook c1. Things which have Barton ESQ for the prime. Um, okay. Anyway. Yeah. So it's bishop a6. I will just castle here. Maybe knight e4. <laughs> maybe I'll play g3. Um, yeah. Okay. That was, I'm based? Okay. Things are just a Tony Tokenique for the for the Tony five months. Things are just Tony Tokenique. Not like you need it, but I'll play ninety four here, probably G three. Stop the checkmate. checkmate. Am I going to stream the match with Levon? No, we might have coverage on our channel, but I'm not streaming it. No. It is a disrespect speedrun after all. True. Whoa, he takes. Um, I know I've got these great ops that are a big problem for Black to deal with. Yeah. I think it's supposed to have Broomberg head for the prime and T16 for the prime. 
Um, something should be good for me, but I don't see it. So I'm just going to play F4. He has to play N peasant or he loses the queen, but I'm just going to take with the queen. And I just feel like there's a lot of play here somehow. A lot of threats. I mean, all these pieces are really dominating for me. I know C cards have been streaming this match for the reason. Well, I'm, I don't believe that I'm allowed to actually stream them. Uh, they changed those rules maybe two years ago, I think, with the SEC. Uh, you're not allowed to stream, though. I think it's should totally not spine collate. I think I did. Maybe 2020? Or maybe even 20... I think 2020 I did stream. it. 2021 I couldn't stream. So I go here. An easy piece. Bishop C6 was winning a rookie, right? With pawn and A7. Canty is much better than Levy. I, I mean, okay, that's the debate for another day. They're probably pretty close, I think. I don't know what I don't know what Canty's rating is or what the level of his recent performances has been, but I think they're probably very close. Take the queen. I just take a check and then take. I think there's a cornet for the 10 months. I think there's a cornet. Appreciate it. Will Levy become a GM? Thank you for the daily question or reminder of one of the questions we already answered like 20 times today. Take the pawn, and that's it. Take the rook. Will we ever see a stream where Levy's not mentioned in chat? Yeah, it's the hourly question at this point, right? So check. Let's just take the rook. Doesn't even matter. Let's go rook out for rookie four. Um, thank you so much to V Rashad for the 13 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Probably one more game. I think at the 10 hour mark, I'll stop for today. Let's play A4 here. Uh, let's go C3. 21 viewers here from Saudi Arabia. Really? Wow. A lot of people like watching chess. Do I still think about the Kansas match? No, actually, I never think about that. I know that's probably a troll question, but to answer that, I never do, actually. It's, it's weird. Um, I don't know. I feel like these days, I, I mean, even the game against Arjun, which was much more recent, the stupid blitz game that I lost in the second to last round, I just don't really think about those things anymore. I, I mean, it's... I, I, I don't know. I just don't really think about it. So, yeah, let's go G3 here. Take a little capture towards the center. Uh, I'll play B3. Why not? I guess I'll take with the queen. Um, I guess I'll go bishop d3. But it's all good. It's all good. All right, so he plays bishop b7. I'm going to play a5, knight a5. I just take with the rook. If he takes, I take. Anything else is just bad, bad, bad. Again, this guy, does, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Is this Israel? It is, right? Oh, no, it's Finland. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Whoops. Um, actually, yeah, that kind of doesn't look like the star of David. What am I smoking? Um, all right, I guess I'll play like Queen A6 next move. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not, 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 not the brightest thing I've ever said. That was not very XQC L of you, right? So, will Levin reach two million on YouTube? Probably. I mean. I don't think any of us will get to 10 million. I will say that, though. Like, that's the only number that matters in terms of the bigger picture is 10 million, if, if any of us could get there. Thank you so much for annoying us for three months, but it's not realistic for any of us. So, no. I mean, 10 million is where you get in. Where it would, that's like the next number that matters for anybody, but none of us are getting there, unfortunately. So, that's what it is. Yay! Thank you so much for that metal Valista for the 29 months. Uh, I think I just take and just take and just take and the time to resign again, as always. Um, Not getting there with that attitude, yeah. It's just a quitter's attitude. That's a quitter's mentality, right? Of course. It's such an arbitrary number. I think it's just a nice round number that everybody likes. I'm just gonna take with the knight. Could have taken, but I'll go here. The knight's under attack. It's a wayward pony. I did see Ludwig's event, obviously. Let's go Queen C5. I'm trying to. I'm trying to jump with these knights. I'll take the pawn first, but I want to jump with these knights. Okay, step one. Amon kicked ours. Yeah, he apparently destroyed Lawrence. I really want to jump with these knights. Okay, let's get let's get jumping. Let's let's go here and take with another pawn. Trent was mauling afterwards, I guess. Um, actually, I think I can just take and go queen e six and queen f seven. This is just horrible. Let's just. Take and end the game. 
How on earth does WWE have 92 million subs on YouTube? Because it's WWE, you guys. I mean, WWE is like the greatest entertainment on the planet. Oh, let's play the Samuel Clemens opening here with H3 and Knight F3. I played this against David Pravian a lot. Um, let's play the Samuel Clemens opening with H3. Of course, H3 very justified as it stops Bishop G4. Things wish to uns, uns SC Spartan for the prime. When can we expect chess boxing? Probably never. Why would I want to like risk uh, damaging my brain? I can't think of any good reason to do that. Let's play C3. 92 and 95, I guess. Let's play queen c2. Put pressure on the pawn. I'm going to try to use my other knight now, maybe. Yay! You can switch that Damocle or Demogic Sorry, Damoc JJ for the 7. That's not Damocles. What am I smoking? Let's take and go knight c5 here. Maybe b3. I guess I'll play a four, try to open this up. Um, just take more pawns here. I just take. I'm up one pawn, but I have these pawns that are very fast on the queen side. Chess boxing would be way more entertaining if the boxer it was boxing instead of chess players. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's. Wait, I guess I'll go b4 here. Trade queen a5. I think these pawns are way too fast here. I don't think you can stop them easily. It's going to be a big problem. Just keep rolling. Go b6. Go b7. I mean, it's just over. Not even close, actually. It's already time to resign again. All right, let's keep going. See, I'm going to play h5 again. He wants to play Bond Cloud. Okay, I'm going to go f6 and king f7 then. He's trying to disrespect me too. I'll return the favor. And here I thought we were stopping. No, definitely not. Um, let's play c6. I'm not going to do the speeder until the SEC. No, we've read it React cover. There's an article I was supposed to cover. I'm trying to try and dig it up. Um, so no, I will, uh, I will be doing other stuff. I will not be doing this until the SEC. Let's play ninety seven here. Into seven, target the pawn. F4 is actually ee, kind of not a move I'm thrilled by, so I'll go queen d8 back. I'm going to go b5, maybe b4 at some point. SEC is at 3 p.m. Eastern, I believe, so still a long, long time to go. back why can't you stream the sec um i mean ask mr daniel wrench so i think i mean i think at the end of the day um probably is probably like you know and it's probably like honestly it's probably you know anti-cheat their concerns because honestly if, if you're streaming even if you have chat and like sub sub or not sub only sorry emote only it's still you know, it's it's not it's not it's not great at the end of the day, and there has there has to be a line, kind of. I think at some point, a line between you know what's serious and what's not serious. And the SEC is a very serious, um, very serious event at the end of the day. Like, there's a lot of money at stake. It's not it's not a joke. I guess I'll take with the rook and go c5. C3, which is actually, I think, a very good move. It was C4 to confuse the situation a little bit. I'll take and play Queen C4. Will I be taking a break between the SEC? Probably, yeah. I like that you have a good understanding of when to be serious. I mean, I try to be serious sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. What the heck? Just want to make sure that I'm, I'm not losing my mind. Um, just want to make sure I'm not, not missing something. 
But that's not going to get it done. Let's, let's leave it at that. Okay, so now it's, I mean, everything, everything's winning here. I guess I'll... I really, I guess I'll just go here and knight f8. I mean... I'm going to take, and rookie one's a good move. Oy, maybe, I don't like what I've done. I'm still probably winning, but okay, if he's going to trade, then he just loses. I mean, there's just no hope here. Is it true you're sponsoring Fisher Random Bull Tournament? Not as far as I know, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy, but I don't think so. Unless you know something I don't know, which is also possible, but I, I, I don't think so. Um, everything wins, but I'll just take and go here. Unfortunately, it's not Stalmy. He tries the Eric Rosen trick, but it doesn't quite work. For sure, random bullet sounds pretty funny. Thank you so much to Artio Mar Mar Marvarenko for the prime. Thank you so much. It's good D5. Again, all very standard. How long does it take? Probably somewhere around 300-ish wins. Maybe another like 100 or so wins is my guess. No, this will be. I'll take a break after this game. Uh, he plays knight c3. I'm going to take and play knight f6 here. This is dangerously close to a real line. This actually is a real line now. This is a real variation of the Karo Khan where you take and then you play an early h5. So this is actually real chess somehow. Somehow. You go like rookie eight, and th this is a very standard line. Well, if you're doing some disrespect during the SEC, we'll see. I don't know yet. I haven't really formulated any kind of plan. I'm just going to show up and play chess, and we'll see what, you know, beyond that, nobody knows. Let's go here. Maybe queen d6. Actually, I had this very similar position. This is in, in um, 1990, or sorry, not 1999, in 2019, uh, in the FIDE World Cup in, in round number one against this player. I think he was actually from Morocco. Or maybe it was France. Um, but this guy, Bellasine, I played him in the uh, first round of the FIDE World Cup in 2019. It was a very similar position. Yeah, no, I didn't mean 1999. Uh, I think it was, I think he was front. I think he, was, he had a Moroccan name, but I think he was representing France. Let's just develop the bishop. Nice. I've been watching the World Cup uh, a little bit, not super closely, but a little bit, yes. Let's go here. Oh, I had bishop h3, which was very strong. I still have it here, and I think I'm going to do it. For real? That's twice in as many games. I, I mean, I, I don't even know what that is. All right, guys, I'm going to take a short break, go use the restroom, and then we'll be back and keep going. Unbelievably bad. Unbelievably bad. Frankly, a little bit unfair to judge at 2100 when he's playing at some of the Super GMs. Exactly. 
All oh, right. So as I was saying before, we keep going speed, speed run. Someone asked me ch about Chat GPT earlier. I think Poopy Dyer for the 14 months. I'm just going to show this very briefly. Let me change the scene. Um, or wait, this is way too big. But okay, let me make this a little smaller. Um, second. Yeah. So I just I thought I would show this to you guys very quickly. Um, before we get back to speed run, one second. So yeah, there there's this great Chat GPT question, and it was um. It, it, the question was, what is Ali Atkins gun? And the response is, Ali Atkins gun is a chess opening strategy in which a player places their bishops on the B1 and G1 squares with their knights on the C3 and F3 squares. This formation creates a strong central control of the board and can lead to quick attacks on the opponent's pieces. It is named after the Russian French chess grandmaster, Ali Alexander Ali Atkins, who popularized the use of this tactic. Now, the only problem with this is that, of course, Ali Atkins gun is not an opening strategy at all. It's where you put their two rooks and the queen on the same line. So um, anyway, chat GPT, everyone's acting like it's, you know, the end of the world or it's the greatest thing we've ever seen since sliced bread. Obviously, it's not. So there you guys go. I know it's all the rage lately, but whatever. It's what it is. Total forehead. Exactly. All right. Let me get back to the, the right scene and we're going to keep going. Let me put the music back on as well. But I just want to show that very, very briefly. Um, all right, let's keep going. OK, all right, let's play B4, play C3, something more garbagey. Maybe I'll even put all the pawns. Maybe I'll play this uh, weird setup. Go here. Go H4, threaten H5. Go F4. Again, great consolidation. I, I mean, I don't know what you call this pawn formation, but I love it. A knight of three here, a knight e5. Things were just Jackson Springs for the four, Federico for the six, and Muscane for the five, and it's Cad for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, let's play knight h2 here. Oh, actually, someone just asked chat GPT what the gun means again, and it's different. Let's take and take here. It's called the Bart Simpson. Bishop C1 is Sag. It's locked behind a wall of pawns, but it's not that bad. I mean, I can just go like Bishop B2. I have C4 at some point also, which is not crazy. I'm going to go C4. If he goes C5, he opens the scope. So I take and I put like B5, I guess. Not so bad, actually. It's quite decent already for me. Problems I take and I just scoot the rook over. I mean, you can obviously take the rook, I guess, on h2, but so rook e2, play like rook c1, queen c3. So rook c1. Take, play like a4, a5. Big mistake. Now queens come off the board and this ensuing endgame. I should be much better here. Now let's take. Plays rook d8, which is actually kind of a scary move. So I guess I go a4. I can't move the knight because I actually get checkmated. Wait, why did I do that? Wait, why did I do that? I'll go knight c4, maybe knight e5, knight c6. Oh, I also have knight d6, maybe. This is how I do it. And now the knight's very active. Uh, rook a3 is a good move. I'm going to go e4. Takes, I guess I go e5 to lock the knight. Maybe rook c2 somewhere in here. Did I just blunder? I think I just blunder this. He had rook a2. I think rook a2 was a draw if I'm not insane. I think it was a draw, but whatever. He didn't do it. So we're back in business. So I take and I have check and take. And I think I'm. Let's go here first. Hit the rook. I think rook a2, king up, king d3. There was a knight maneuver that was saving the game for him, but it could be crazy. Okay. Um, how do I do this? I guess I'll go here to hit the pawn. Oh my god, really? I think it's a GB banner for the nine. 20 there, Nick RL. It's just incredibly bad. I mean, this guy's 2200. I mean, he's a very strong amateur and he still just blunders the game away for no reason. Terrible. Terrible. Cheese? 
Well, it's not my fault that he's bad at chess. That's not my fault. Take, take the pawn, run this pawn. Very easy. That's, I mean, I, I don't know what you want me to say. You want me to say, like, it's not, not my fault. Am I going to steam or stream the Magnus or Fabi? Uh, I don't even know when they're playing. Are they already playing? I have no idea when they're playing. No clue. That's what it is. So let's play the uh, reverse grob or the Basman attack. Or, or I guess chess.com, they call it the boar gambit. So I guess resistance is futile, apparently. Uh, let's go here. This is pretty standard. Oh, tomorrow's SEC? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's too much, too much stuff is going on. I mean, this looks great. Free pawns. Sorry, what? Is some kind of theory that I don't know? What? Okay, I'm confused. I'm actually confused by this. He takes, I go king f8. I mean, this. He's missing a lot of materials here. <sighs> Let's go check. Dismal. Just dismal. Just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Pathetic. Play H4. Let's play the Caddis opening. It's just a quick attack. Thanks so much ZZOM for the three months. Thanks so much ZZOM. Guess I'll take and go B4. I've got a nice little chain of pawns on the queen side. Could be pretty good for me. Answer to ZZOM again. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. ZZ, ZZOM. Let's play knight d4. Maybe queen a4. Maybe just e3 and bishop b5. Also very strong. Uh, I can always tickle the bishop later with h5, maybe. Depending. Just b5. I still want to tickle the, uh, tickle the, um, tickle the bishop. Question of when, though. I'll play f4. Thanks for SS Owls for the Prime. Thanks so much for SS Owls. Appreciate it. Thank you. Do we watch Argentina or Magnus versus Fabian? Of course you should watch uh, Argentina. That, that only happens every four years. Magnus versus, um, Magnus versus Fabiano happens like every, every other month. It's not all that special. Also, this is the last time. I mean, this is Messi's last World Cup, right? So, I mean, if it's the last World Cup for, for Messi, how can you not watch? I don't know if Argentina is the best. I, I don't really, I mean, I, I don't know. Let's go here. Going for quick stuff on the queen side. Just going to scoop my king out of the danger zone here. France is going to win. Nobody wants France to win. Nobody. Nobody wants France to win except France. Is f4. I guess I'm going to go check. He can't really block, and he loses the bishop. And then once I get c6, c7, I mean, this looks horribly scary for black. And there's c7. Well, that hangs a bishop, but I think I'm still going to play c7 here. I could have just taken the bishop right away, I guess, but... Thanks so much to Humble Sheep for the tier one. Thanks so much to Humble Sheep. Appreciate it. Thank you. Just subscribed. Messi deserves to win. Uh, maybe. I'm going to play e4. It's not maybe the best move, but if I take any takes, it gets kind of wonky. So I, I, I'm going to go e4, and I think I'm okay, but I'm not 100% not sure that I am okay here. I think I am. He checks, which is a mistake. Take, I believe, because I have knight f3, and now I pin the tail on the donkey again. Go knight d2, queen d7. If I get the juicer to the end of the board, it's over. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. This is beautiful, too. 
Look at these two pawns just rolling down the board. Beautiful. Once again, time to resign. Unfortunate. Play the Basman, the reverse Grob again, or the Borg, as chess.com calls it. Have I seen uh, Ronaldo crying? I mean, I saw the clip, yeah, but so. Oh, wow, are we getting the same thing? Oh, wait, no, he played c3. He didn't play bishop e3. It's a little bit different. Okay, so I take and take. I just developed here. Let's look at knight f6, hit the pawn on e4. Andrea 137, I don't know what that means. Ronaldo was more devastated than I was. Of course he was. I mean, it's the end of his career. Like, I mean, he wants to win. I mean, if you don't want to win, there's something wrong with you. A3, I don't even understand what that does. I'm just going to develop here. You can take with a bishop. I think I'll take with a bishop to keep the scope alive as much as I can here. Keep the scope alive. Crying all the way to the bank isn't isn't Pinaldo about to get like a um, isn't he about to get a uh, like a three hundred million dollar a year contract from Saudi Arabia? I know that's what XQC. I saw on XQC stream people were calling him Pinaldo, so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I I, that's, I saw I saw an XQC stream. That's what they were calling him. Ninety seven and ninety six here. Um, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's just what I saw though. Anyway, let's go ninety six here. Amber just subscribed. So here, I mean, I feel like I should have something, but I'm actually not in great shape. Play f five. He takes. I just take. Thanks for Emba for the ten months. Thanks for Emba. So here I'm going to go rook f8 and he's going to lose very soon. He's going to lose. We'll go here. I think bishop e5 just wins the game. Thank you so much to Pondemonium for the 23 months. Okay, now I think I just take and it's just game over no matter what. Pinaldo is 37, still young, I guess. Yeah, he's still young enough. Taking go d3 next move. Um, now I have bishop d4 and there should be some way to win here. Ibrahimovic is the best. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Zlatan was never the best, even though in his mind he was. Good check in King C7. Let's go Rook G1, maybe. Ronaldino was good, but never the never the goat. No. Zlatan hype will never make sense to me. I mean, in Zlatan's mind, he's like the greatest thing to ever walk the face of the earth, as I understand it. Um, let's just go here. I'll go here. If he goes, if he goes bishop d2, I have knight g2 check, and he gets mated. I think there's an Eric Sire for the 33 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Just take. I think it's just check and mate, no? Check and mate. It's easy. Okay, plays d4. I guess I'm going to go c5 and b5. This is not very good, but it's something to do. Play e6. Oh, he doesn't even save the pawn. b4 is just a clean pawn for me. He doesn't even save it. Terrible. I did not watch it last night, you guys. I, I, I said at the start of the stream, I was asleep. Um, basically, what I learned from the India trip is that I'm not, I don't know if it's that I'm not super young or just my body doesn't react to travel the way it once did, but basically the time zone, the jet lag was way too much for me. Um, now, it's not to say that I was, like, that's 
obviously not the only reason I did poorly in India, but I think it was one of the big reasons. And so I'm trying to keep myself on a European time zone as much as I can um, until the uh, until the event in Kazakhstan. It's 11 hour time difference. So if it's like only five hours that I have to shift. I think I have a better chance than just a straight 11 hours. So yeah, I was I was asleep at, at um, I was asleep when it started at like seven or whenever, whenever it was. Did poorly. I mean, I should have won the blitz. Rapid is a different story because rapid I just bombed day one. So there's never anything really to play for. But in the blitz, I should have won it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not particularly thrilled with my result. Uh, knight e5 is actually a pretty solid move here by my opponent. Um, I'm taking go knight e7. I have to be a little bit careful here, but I think it's okay. I can play f5 next move um, and go from there. But, yeah, so I was asleep. I, was not, I wasn't even awake when it was going on. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. Messi is the goat. Perhaps he is. Why is he tanking? I don't know what he's expecting here. I feel like you're not being disrespectful enough. Well, this guy, I mean, he, he studied some basic tactic from that, that last game. He thinks he can play as like a bird's opening with double sacks. And it just isn't going to work. I mean, what is wrong with these people? Yeah, except I go king h6, and now you look like a total idiot, dude. I see some, see some tactic from, a, from that Lasker game in 18 whatever it was with the double bishop sacrifice, and suddenly he thinks he can be really fancy schmancy, and instead he just loses the game. What an idiot. He goes to h5. I mean, everything is very safe. I'll just go queen b8 even. So, all good. Bill Clinton is the win, is the goat after his big win last week. Yeah, exactly. Let's play knight f6, attack the queen. Yeah, Harry Kane, like I said, I mean, Harry Kane is one of the best footballers in the world, but unfortunately he missed that critical penalty. I mean, he's, he's got to be like top 10 right now, but uh, that's what it is. What it is, as the saying goes, it is what it is. So he goes g4, hangs a rook on h1, and that's just that's just it. Um, yeah, this is just it. But queen e5. No, what? No, what? Yeah. I want to sack something, but it, I, I feel like that sort of makes him feel better about himself if I sack. So I want to make him feel as bad as possible. So I'm not going to sack my queen just to disrespect him. I think it's more disrespectful or it makes him feel even worse if he just loses. No what, no what, yeah. Hikaru 2022, exactly. Um, no checkmate, so I guess I'll just keep it simple with queen h2. Quick check, and let's do the bishop mate. There we go. Jamie Vardy, he was very good for a while when he was with uh with Leicester, right? When he was with Leicester, he was pretty good, but maybe he's still with Leicester, I don't know. But at any rate, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he still is there? Okay. Declining the rematch is very disrespectful, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you guys, we've been through this. Last time when I was on my stream, I said it correctly instead of intentionally mispronouncing it. But so I, I, I know, I know what you guys are saying. Yeah, I mean, last time, last time I wanted to mispronounce it, but I said it correctly at the start, so I couldn't really fake it. But yes, I, I think everybody knows how you actually pronounce it. It's like there's, it's like Gloucestershire, right? That's another one. There's Gloucestershire and. Um, Worcestershire as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there, there's Gloucestershire. That, that's, the, that's the big one. Um, so. Okay, my man is just stalling here. This is even better. This is really good. Yeah. 
Well, I played Chess Class in London. I haven't been to London since like 2019. Thanks so much to Attila Terzo for the raid. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, it's Gloucestershire, right? Okay. Oh, he's just, he's just, he's just mad. He's just mad. He's really angry. Burn him to Flecker. Burn him to Flecker. Yes, he's very mad. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's very mad. He can't handle it. He can't handle it. Let's play more of the Clemens opening. Things are just a synchro for the prime. Things are a synchro. Appreciate it. Yeah. You, you were born the same year as Messi and your height is the same. Well, that's great, you guys. The only problem is, like, he's worth, like, what, $500 million and I'm worth 50 There's a slight difference. Um, all right, I'm going to play F4 here. Uh, maybe I'll go E5, maybe Knight C4. This looks dubious. Let's go F5. Um, let's go check. I mean, I guess I play G6 or something, maybe. Yeah. Maybe knight e2, maybe knight g3. I'm gonna try to angle and sack something down here long term. Go here. Out of pocket. Oh, de Messi is definitely worth more than half a billion. Really? Things are just trade for the nine months. Really? Really? Hmm. I thought I thought he cheated the tax man in Spain, and probably he didn't have as much. Okay, let's play a4. Knight G3. Oh, he's, he's 620. I mean, yeah. That's same same difference. Yeah. Let's go Knight, knight H5. I guess I'll play B3. It's not even the best move, but I, I can do it. Go Rook G1. I don't actually know if I'm winning here, but it looks very scary for my opponent. He's got a dead rook in the corner. So, well, there goes the pawn, and with it, there goes the game as well. Eventually, something bad is happening on the king's side. Something really bad is about to happen. I go F6, and now, I mean, it's just a total disaster. Total fail by my opponent. Barry is just not very good at chess. Back checking me. Good night. Bye-bye. Let's keep going. Next game. Okay, let's play the, uh, the Gibbons, Weeder, Hogging, Gambit. Plays H6. He does not accept the Gambit. I guess I'll just play H4. Things are just Sandifer for the 23 months. D5. Okay, I'll play D5. He can still take the pawn. Uh, he plays E5. I guess I'll play F3 and E4. Just build a whatever you call the structure. Oh, we might get a flying V. Maybe. H5 is the flying V, but I don't really want to play the flying V here. Let's just build more center. More center is always good. Okay, now I'm going to take the flying V. We'll go here and knight g3, knight f5. But ducks always fly together, yes. I'm going to play knight f5. Waiting for Ikari to start his chess business and make that real Moni. Moni? I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, you mean Monet? Like Claude Monet? Uh, let's go bishop d3. Okay, my man is kind of a little bit squished here. He's kind of lacking space. He has some problems to deal with. Make the W with the pawns. What is a W? Like, like that or something? I don't know. Let's go A4, stop B5. Yeah, I watch World Cup occasionally. Occasionally. I've watched... I watched some of... Um, which game was I watching? I was watching towards the end of the, the last game. I was watching England versus France. But I haven't watched much. These are just Aquila Ungula for the 38 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. B3 is a dub. Okay, I'll play B3. What is this? This is some kind of... This is the Pyramid of Giza, right? This looks like the pyramid. Pyramid structure with the pawns. Um, uh, how do I do this? I guess I'm going to go here. 
You can search that bing bong guy for the two months. Uh, I'm going to go here. Still no B5. That's really the only question. Let's go here. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of shuffling a little bit. You can search that new Zet for the four months. You can search that new Zet. Appreciate it. Thank you. It plays B5, but I think this just doesn't work. I think I'm just up a pawn. Aha. Okay, wait. But I take. Uh, I should have just taken right away. Why didn't I do this? Okay. Uh, but I still should be up, up a pound. Let's take and trade the rooks and queen e2. Should be good still. Monet was disrespect with classical paintings. Okay, dude. Cool story. Let's go bishop c4 and queen e2. And rook a6. My SEC match is in like, I don't know, like three and a half hours or something. I don't know. Not soon. Is it true that in America it's called sock chess? No, it's called, um, it's called, um, it's called soccer. Third K4. Third K1. I still have an extra pawn. It's important to note. At some point this pawn should play. But he's, he's, he's resisting. Soccer is a British term. I don't actually know. Is it? I'm not sure. So here, line up some angles. I think it should be soccer. Of course, of course it should be soccer. I'm American, and we always do everything the best way because we're the best. So I'm going to play rook a6 here. Of course it should be soccer. I mean, it's just like, why does anybody use the metric system? Every, everybody should obviously just be using, um, using our system instead. I mean, come on. What, what is that nonsense? So let's just take... I'm gonna line with thank you, Jose. I'm lining up actually the Aliakin's gun potential. Joe Although he takes, just I guess I'll take with the pawn now. Create the pass pawn. Watching the stream makes me patriotic. LOL. Of course, obviously. Imagine using Celsius. I couldn't agree more. Like who who uses Celsius? Like so stupid. Whatever, bro. Exactly. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, thanks so much to the, uh, the L attack for the eight months. Thank you so much. Did Botez get robbed last night? Thank you for that. That exciting question. Yeah. Okay. What can I do now? I I'm going to, I think I'm going to play. This is disrespectful in and of itself too. These are just trips on for the three months. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to be overly disrespectful. I'm going to go A3, but I have to make sure that I time it right. Okay, I guess I'll go bishop B2. F5, I'll play F4. I, I need to do something eventually. Okay, so I take with an E pawn. How can you name a sport? How can you name a sport football when you, um, you name a sport football when you play with your hands? Because there's the ball, and it's the foot ball. Okay, imagine losing to this. <laughs> yes, true story, true story. Yeah. I'm going to go knight a3, maybe knight c2, maybe bishop c1. I want to get my knight back. I want to go bishop c1. Um, I'm, the funny thing is I'm actually almost just, I wouldn't say I'm better, but I'm not worse here at any rate. Let's go B4, start to open it up a little bit. Start to soften some points on the queen side. I'm Ronaldo or Messi? I don't know. I actually don't know. Take and go bishop a3. That's a pawn, and it's time to resign. You know, arrow Nico for the three months. Yeah, unfortunately, this is already lost for him almost. Very, very sad. I'm messy? Okay. I don't know. He sacks a piece, which is kind of interesting, actually. Maybe more than interesting. Hmm, I didn't even 
consider this idea for some reason. Actually, this is not trivial to win, I have to say. Um, take and take. I should be better here, but it's not trivial. Sam Bingman Freed wants to be your friend on Facebook. Okay, very funny. Um, probably is more important things to be worrying about right now. So take, of course. Okay, so uh, I can trade. I can trade. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, let's think for a second. I think if I trade everything, I'm just up up pawns. So I think step one is to take. Step two is to take. And step three is to take and go rook d1, and then I win. Very, very smooth. Play, I guess, rook d1, guard the bishop. I believe I have two pawns if I, if I can count correctly. Let's go here, trade some pieces, and dust is settled, and I'm just up materials. Just trade, and then I go knight d4, and I fork him. Oh, he finds rook e8. Which is obviously no good because of bishop e5, and that's that's all she wrote. Hmm. Rook e1. Oh, that's a mistake. He had knight g5, but uh shouldn't really matter here. France or Morocco? I mean, France should win, but you never know. You never know what will happen. Any plans on do it bold bold speed runs? I have a bold speed run. I never did finish it quite, but um I did have a bullet bond cloud. Why are 2.2 players so bad? Because they're just, you know, it's it's what you come to expect in chess. How, how can you really expect them to be good? Let's let's be honest. Thank you so much, Turner Swagger for the 37 and E Diz for the Prime. Thank you so much it's Yano time for the 13. I'm gonna play C5 here. It's you know time just took five dollars. I'll take and play like knight f6 or something, and maybe e5, maybe knight c6. My game against Levon is starting in a few years, so um, let's see, knight d5. I just go e5 here, maybe just knight c6. I still have g3 somewhere in here as well. Um, let's go bishop e6, maybe queen a5, maybe rook c8. So, yeah, let's uh, wait, there goes a pawn, and there goes a rook. Yeah, just again. Disgustingly, disgustingly poor. Thank you so much to Turn of Swagger for the 10 gifted. I mean, these guys are just so bad at chess. That sometimes I, I'm amazed. I, I really am amazed by how bad these guys are. What was your favorite match in Ludwig's event? Like I said, I was fast asleep in bed, so I don't have a favorite match. Sorry. Sorry, what can I say? Unfortunate. Um... What am I? It's actually not as great as I thought it was. I'm still better, but this is not. Eh, this is not quite what I wanted. Wait a second. I have to be careful here. Wait, 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 wait a second. I do have rook h6, maybe. Muddy waters oh. just reset. I think actually I'm gonna play this. These are some muddy waters for three and Revol revoltaire for the eight months. I'm gonna play e5. I could actually I should have gone bishop e5. That was a bad move. I guess I'll go bishop d4 to trade some bishops and castle. Problem is he can't really castle because then he's gonna lose the pawn. But he has some problems to deal with here. There's some rook h6 and bishop c3 king e2 is what I was trying to make work, but it just didn't quite work. That's what I that's what I was thinking about for a bit there. I don't think it worked, at least. I don't think it worked. I mean, takes, takes, check, king, e2, check, king, king, f1. I, I didn't see it, so. Let's just take the knight. No, if I exchange the queens, he takes with the bishop. That's why I didn't trade the queens. Um, let's just go here. Some kind of fossils. Some fossils are lurking. Idea for next speed run, one queen sack at the start of each game. Well, that's the Botez Gambit, which we still have. Okay, so he's asking for the fossil. I'm going to take this one. 
There's, there's, everything's hanging here. You think Amon is turning pro after last night? You know, like, I'm sure Amon is happy one, but I'm sure Amon would be the first person to tell you that, I mean, he and Lawrence are not exactly pros, and he's, he's not going to be changing anything. I mean, if people think that, people think that a win against Lawrence is, means he's going to, like, suddenly be, like, pro boxer, like, as I said, levels. Levels, levels, levels. Take. I guess I'll go here. I'm trying to get a check on D1. And I just go check, trade, and then he loses the rook to H5. Check and takes. He was barely decent. I mean, he was much better than Lawrence, at least from what I read, but that's not really saying a whole lot. Against any probably amateur amateur boxer, even. He he would he would probably die in the ring. So yeah. Let's go queen b6. This is what we had earlier against a different guy. This guy makes the same mistake. He didn't use any feet. He threw himself on Lawrence. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Actually, maybe what I did is just bad. Uh, oh, this is actually kind of gross. I'm just going to go back. Amateur isn't Kasparov as amateur into chess. Well, I just mean against some boxer who's like, I don't know, I, I can't even put a rating on it. But, you know, if he plays against a boxer who's like 1,700, that boxer would probably kill him. Like, it, it's just one of those things. It's just levels, you guys. Go E6 here. Thanks so much to Coco Dollar for the four months. Appreciate it. Just glad he won. He worked pretty hard. Lawrence, Lawrence thought they were there for a tea party or something. Ouch. Um... <laughs> This is actually scary. I need to think for a second. Let's go here. Lawrence thought they were there for a tea party. Jesus Christ. Go knight of five here. Jeez. This is actually really bad for me. Um, I'm going to go d5, force him to take, and then like go here and queen d8. This is actually really quite poor. This G4, which I think, I think I'll just take and try to survive somehow. I'm going to castle. Go here. This is actually very scary. I need to focus. Okay, he hangs upon and now I'll win the game. That was very scary for about like five seconds. Now I think I'll just win. Yeah. That's funny, you guys, that Lawrence thought they were there for a tea party. That's that's funny. That's that's legitimately funny. I'm gonna go ninety seven here. <laughs> tea party. Okay, let's go bishop c six here. Guess I'll go knight g six here. They both looked like fools in there, to be honest. Well, that's not shocking, but again, um, let's play rook d8. I don't know if it's the best move. I had queen d5 me with a mate idea too, but eh, it is what it is. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just blunt. Oh my gosh, I did just blunder. Oh shoot. Um, did I wait? I mean, I have. Oh no, I did blunder. Wait a second. Shoot. I'm gonna go here. Time is even too. This is bad. This is really bad. Really, really careless by me. Queen G3, however, looks wrong. Go here. Take. I mean, I have Queen E4 check as well. 
Wait. We need two. It's tricky. A lot of stuff is hanging here for both of us. Got to find a move, though. He's got no time. Is rook b8? Uh, bishop takes e4 or something? Wait, no, I have queen a1 and queen g1. No, no, wait. Oh, I've got queen f1, which is mate. Actually, queen f1 is just mate. Never mind. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Little bit scary. Okay, let's get back to basics. Let's play a4. Play c3. Let's take and develop. I think there's a map bow for the seven months. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. He didn't have a mate in one. Only I did. Go bishop g5. Hey, Car, where's the questionable trophy? It's sitting out in my living room, you guys. I'm going to go e4, knight d2 or something. Hey, Ecar, have a great day. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, go knight d2. We're going to hit the pawn on e4. It's all good. It's where it belongs in the toilet. No. No. Yeah, he played well, but he fumbled at the end. True. Um, just take and take. Questionable. Yeah, the, the rock trophy. Very funny, you guys. Wow. That I did not expect. Um, interesting. Close take anyway. Knight c5, force a trade. Thank you so much that Bill Rush for the two months. Fifty million two dollars and fifty cents. Well, you guys, I am partner, so I get more than two fifty out of the subscription. But thank you. Test boxing reaction stream. I mean, I might take a look at some. We have a Reddit React to cover. We also have um, there's some music song or something that's out that I need to cover as well. So there are little bits of things we need to do. I'm gonna play f3 to chip the structure a little bit. Generally, every position is okay once we reach an end game. If we reach an end game, there are never any worries. Things are to rise above for the prime. Things are to uncut piano for the twenty months. Uh, doesn't Twitch doesn't Twitch plan say they're locking fifty percent? Uh, that's that's after the first hundred thousand dollars, I believe, if I understood correctly. Secondly, that only kicks in when your contract expires, and my current Twitch contract doesn't expire till September. So until September of twenty twenty three, I will be getting more than fifty percent of the sub revenue. Let's go here, hit the rook. So, yeah. Um, go here. D6 is probably a good move. Yeah, it's a good move. I shouldn't have allowed this, but I still should be better. Thanks for that decode for the 19 months. Thanks for that decode. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. A pawn. I mean, he gets a double stack, but I'm not particularly worried about it somehow. Yeah, he gets his double stack, but I should be should be fine. Didn't someone dislocate their shoulder? I mean, that that's what I heard, that's what people are saying, but I don't know. I mean, I, I obviously, like I said, I wasn't watching. I was asleep. So take and take. We do a pull until the first loss. I'm not sure. Does money bring happiness? No, I think. I mean, there have been studies on money. Does it bring happiness? I think there's a certain point above which it's like. It makes you feel good, but after that point, there's like a critical level that it's not like it's not relevant. So, yeah. The rookie one. Yeah, it's, it's some amount of money. I think it's yeah, it's like 70 or 80 K. Per year, and they say above that, it's like it's it's irrelevant. Am I happy? I'm very happy. Never been happier in my life, so yes. Okay. 
Um, he plays Rook H2. Rook E7 looks like a good way to threaten the, um, the classic uh, ladder checkmate. And I go here, and he can't actually stop mate one. Or he can by sacking rooks, but yeah. Do I still enjoy chess and streaming? I love streaming chess, I do. Yeah. Okay, let's do two more games. I think what what's the what's the number we're at? We're at maybe 225. I think I want to get to 225. So four more, four more. That's my goal. Four more, four more games. And then we'll move to Reddit React and everything else we have to cover. You think we'll have an end of year market rally? I don't know. Oh, 70k 20 years ago is like 150k today. Okay. I mean, again, I don't know how these things work. I'm just, you know, I just think there's some there's some figure at which you're happy, and above that, it's irrelevant. Oh. Let's take taken here. These are GG player prime. He had rookie two. That's a bad prime. I was still gonna win the game anyway, so it doesn't matter. Last time I was rated 2265 was in January of 2000. Uh, that sounds about right. Yeah, sounds about right. Only 22 years ago. Trade and take the juicer. Ganu Mustafa Yilmiz. He's a Turkish player. I don't know him personally, but I do know his name, of course. Thank you so much to the Sunshine, the cat, for the Sunshine, four months. The cat just subscribed. Pog. Okay, let's just go F6. That was a terrible move by me, of course. Um, I'll go here. Burritos used to be 25 cents, now they're 50 cents. That's disappointing. It goes F3. I guess I'll just trade. I'm up a pawn here, so I don't care. Go here, probably rook B8. I should be just better here. Go here, trade the bishop for the knight, and then we have this awesome pony with this horrible, this horrible, horrible bishop. How do you see these glasses? It's fine. It's just they're actually just fogging up a little bit, which is annoying. But uh, I'm going to play rookie eight next move. Go a6. I put all the pawns on the light squares. Step one is everything on white so the bishop can't touch anything. And uh, let's go rook b5, or maybe knight b5 first. I need to check my eyes out for speed run is over, right? Yeah. Now let's go C5. Thank you so much to the real like for the five, Snow Skier for the 12, and Phoenix 3724 for the 11. Thank you so much. Yeah. Why is my commercial in German? I don't know. Maybe you're in Germany? I don't know. Go here. Snow Skier 7 just resubbed for 12 months. Yeah, I don't know what you're asking. Yeah, they're fogging up. I'm gonna take them off for the next few games at least. The underscore real Let's just take and take with a pawn. Out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Pog champ. And take with a rook too. Take with a pawn though. I've been getting German ads too. I mean, I don't know. What am I supposed to say, you guys? Maybe you're in Germany. Am I familiar with the Fromm's Gambit? I am. Yes. Yeah. Um. I'll also just play a5 and rook b5. Too much commercials, no more follow. Okay, poop and shoop, sir. That's fine. You can find another channel to watch. It's all good, dude. That's not my fault. Blame Twitch. Uh, let's go e5 here. Was I asked by Ludwig? Ludwig vaguely mentioned it, but there was nothing more than just a vague mention. So, not specifically, no. Rook g8, I'll go here and take... Plays h3. It's actually quite tricky to win. Um, he wants to go g4. e4 is a move, but it's wrong. Yay! It's actually very Daniel Zeiser 91 just took five oddly tricky to play. Pocket. Thanks. Nakamura, bye bye Nakamura. These are Daniel Zeiser for the uh for the four months. Takes, I come back, and I think I'm fine. I think I'm still up two pawns here. Let's go here, threaten the uh, mate. 
Oh, did I blunder something? I think he had rook h4 there, maybe, but he misses it, so. But now I start to slide the other way, and this should be pretty clean. I think I have just check. I just technically end it. Now I go here, win the pawn, that's it. And now we have the wide peepos, and there's nothing he can really do. Check. Go here, cut the king off, and now it's just very basic. He should sack the rook at some point. He's not going to. Okay, check. Okay, it resigns. Three more to go. Let's play a4. 222, right? So three more. Let's play c3, d4 again. Where the Google prototypes, I took them off because they were itchy and they're just fogging up, but I'll put them back on. Okay, let's play d4. Jimbu 74 just subscribed. Just take and put like knight d2 and knight f3. Very basic. It's such a Jimbu for the 13 months. Thank you so much as Jimbu. Not to be confused with Mage and Boo. Um, thank you so much as Jimbu for the uh, 13 month resub. Let's go check. I guess I'll go c4 here. Just simplify it. Let's trade. Let's trade. Knight c4 maybe. Keep it simple. I guess I'll just castle here. Play a5, maybe just like queen e2, bishop d2. Wicked. Wicked, exactly. Wicked. Shade's game is too strong, bro. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, Where's that queen going? I'm a little confused. Going to h5. Okay, let's go rook c1. Probably bishop e1 somewhere. It's all good. Will it be a Hikaru Rewind? Um, oh, actually, that's a very good question. Wait. That's a very good question. Wait, actually, that's legitimately a good question. There's supposed to be a Twitch re Rewind somewhere. Um, but I don't see it in my email. They were actually, no, that's a very good question. Twitch is supposed to send me a Rewind that I could show on stream today, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Also, my eyes are just fogging up, so let's go King H2 here. He's a turkey for the prime. Yeah. It's his move. Let's see what he does here. I don't see it, though. I actually don't see it. Did he just let me trap his queen? He did. Yeah. Yeah, there's fogging up, and yeah, that's what it is. This game over. Yay! I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be somewhere on my dashboard. I'm too Great stupid event. to figure it out. $5 out of Bezos um, thanks. Nice. One to go for two years of Giga Brain Chess. Yeah, maybe I'm too stupid and it's somewhere in my in my Discord. Where where are the insults? Well, I mean, what what insults do you want me to give? I mean, these guys are just terrible. Okay, we got a big bad FM 2365 from Italia, right? Or is it Hungary? Oh my god, I still can't get the flags right. What's wrong with me? Let's play C5. These are Latin FN. Let's play F5 here. I still can't get it right. Yeah, let's go knight F6. Let's play D6. Yeah. Did I say Italy? Yes, I did. Yes. I feel a bit offended now as a Hungarian. You shouldn't be offended, my friend. You should not be offended. Um, I guess I'll play Knight H7 to trade the ponies. Also, this is a problem, too. Your 35 might need to add a magnified plaque. Maybe a hash CR. I, I mean, it looks like Italy. It's the same colors, right? It's just the order's different. Yeah. And Profar Har, appreciate it. Thanks so much. I mean, it's, it's the same colors. It's just, you know, a different order. Whatever. Insulting Italians. I don't need to do that. I think it blues for the 14. Italians, uh, ma Italians make it very easy. Scacco Mott. Scacco Motto. Thank you. But I'm not even going to pronounce it with the right, right accent. Um, let's go Knight F6 here. Thank you so much to SSEJE for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
Yeah. Shooting at a roam bar just happened to us. Shoot. Is that for real? Castle. I hope that's not real. If it is, yikes. Develop. Do I ever get tired of chess? Not really. We do enough variety on the stream that I, I don't really get tired. Thanks for chess zombie for the 19 months. Appreciate it. I don't need to speak in Italian right now. I don't have B5. I guess I'll just play Rook C8. Keep it very basic. Let's trade the queens. Yeah, we're almost 225. Yeah, the glass are just bothering me, so I took them off. Plays rook a3. B5 is maybe a move here. But I don't even see the point behind it. So I'm just going to play, like, I don't know, like, rook f7 or something. I mean, I guess he wants to go queen a2. Not that I understand it, but... Oh, there was a shooting at a Rome coffee house. Oh, shoot. That's bad. Yeah, let's play rook c7 here. All right, let's just take the pawn. Please be disres more disrespectful, I'll try. A friend of the prime minister was apparently killed in it? Oh, man. Jeez. Mm, that's bad. Bishop c4, I'm going to play f4 so I can take and open some stuff up here. Um, we'll go bishop e5. I'm being plenty disrespectful on the board. That's also true. What do I think of Twitter lately? I mean, I don't really use Twitter anywhere as much as I used to. I, I think, I mean, I, I don't think you guys, I, I think you use the classic uh, Brandon line. I think you, you don't really want to know what I think of Twitter. I think it's something like that. I, I think that's the bottom line. You don't, you don't want to know what I actually think of Twitter. I think, I think that's the bottom line. Let's play H4 here. Um, yeah, let's go H4. Yeah. Rook B6, I can obviously trade at some point. I can actually just go G5, though. Go G4, keep, keep, keep attacking. But yeah, that's the bottom line. I mean, I, I, think, I think it was uh, Biden. He, he made that comment. It's like, you don't, you don't really want to know what I think. And that's sort of how I feel about, about Twitter. Like, you, you don't really want to know how I feel about it. Play C4 here because I have a check and I can take. I find rookie four, which is actually a very good. Oh, what what is G3 by me? But I, I actually I still win because he's he's terrible at life. Let's take and just H3. Take. Things are to Vince Boo for the two months. Thanks so much to Vince Boo. Yo. I mean, all right, one more to go. Let's play one more. All right, we're up to 2290. We're actually really climbing fast. I didn't even realize how fast we're climbing. What do you think your average accuracy is? I don't know. Let's play, let's do the double. Let's play the, the pawns out. Go e6, trade, open up the scope. Uh, now I can take both ways, but I'm going to take with a d pawn just to open up threats towards the bishop, maybe. I don't know. Go here, target the pawn. Go here, all pretty standard so far. Maybe c5 somewhere in here. I actually really like my position already. I think I'm much, much better. Maybe not much, much better, but I'm definitely better. Take, let's go g4, maybe knight c5, maybe h5, bishop h6. Obviously, I'm not going to hang checkmate. I don't know who he thinks I am, but ridiculous. Even, even hoping for that is just ridiculous. Take now knight c5. 
to hit everything. I have Bishop H6 also. I think I can just take with the pawn and castle, maybe. I think I should have gone Bishop H6, though. It's still good for me, but it's not clean. Yeah, this is still good, but it's not completely clean anymore. Have I seen Amon's boxing clips? No, but I heard he, he was pretty... I mean, pretty good or I mean, pretty good or just flat out better than Lawrence, whatever, however you want to put it. But yeah, apparently he just like he he crushed it. So that's what it is. And as someone in chat so aptly put it, I mean, apparently Lawrence thought it was a tea party, not an actual fight. So that's what it is. Rook e1, logical. He's trying to go knight h4. Somehow I need to do something here. I guess I'm going to actually just sack. I'm going to sack here and go for mates. This is my idea. Yeah, of course he does that. I sack. Hit the queen. Lawrence, all talk, no game. Eh. Like I said, I mean, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't follow it super closely. But yeah, let's go here and I, I try to checkmate him. Oh my gosh, this guy is so bad. I mean, that's so bad. Like, that's just so bad. It's 225, I think, unless I'm crazy. But let me check. Yeah. That's just so bad. How do you just allow a check? That's embarrassing. That's probably more embarrassing than Lawrence's boxing last night. Uh, so we get the win. Uh, 225. I'm going to stop with this. I'm going to go use the restroom again very quickly. We're going to come back. We have Reddit React. I think we have a music song, maybe some articles or some clips from the boxing that I can cover as well. So I'll be back in one second, you guys. Actually, can someone send me a link uh, from with the timestamp from when the fight starts between Lawrence and um, Lawrence and uh, and Amon? Because I actually want to react to that. If somebody has a timestamp of when it began, can you put it with the link in the chat? Thanks for Tiger Clown for the twenty eight months. And you get Oblivera for the Prime, and then I guess also the uh, the timestamp of the uh, final round of the boxing between Dina and um, Dina and Andrea. I guess. Thanks so much for what you go on to for the five months. Appreciate it. So. Yeah, mods or people in chat, if you can, if you can send me the uh, timestamps, then, then we can go from there. Let me change the scene. Yeah, if you guys have the link. Um... Okay, is that, is that it? Okay, let me, let, me, let me stop the music. One second, what do we have? Is this it? Both training and sport. Wait, but they start playing chess? Wait, but they start by playing chess? Wait, I'm confused. Let me change the scene. I thought they didn't play chess. Oh, did they play chess in round one and then they boxed or what, what happened? Like, okay. Okay, let's they start with chess. Okay, let's watch this. Let's react to this. Give me one second. Oh, where's my cam? Um, there we go. All right. Let me put myself here. All right, let me put the uh, chat. Where's, where's chat? Okay, let's watch this. Okay. Sound should be good. Tell me if it's too soft, you guys. Barring footage from both fighters, it's going to be close. Now, guys, I've played both of these guys, and I think we're going to get a London system, and we do. A London on the board. Amon's pet line. I've played about 20 times on well, the black okay. side of a... Well, okay. First problem, where is the, um, where is the chess board? Where is the chess board on this? Shouldn't there be a chess board in a corner somewhere? Why is there no chess board here? First thing that I'm confused by, there's no chess board, so I don't understand how people are supposed to follow but let's keep going. London system, when I've played him on Hamilton and Blitz games, i played Lawrence a lot less. Already a very sharp position. Bishop has traded for the knight. And right off the bat, we are moving so much. It, did, it didn't, oh, it, it didn't work? Okay. Yeah, I'm just like, what is, what is this, uh, what is this opening? 
faster than the other people. Okay. Anyway, you button, can see the board now, so, so it's not so bad. Any of our other matches. Okay. So the, the experience in chess really coming through. Yeah, we have an early trade in the center. Very stable. This is going to be a very stable chess game. And very worth noting game. that the coin flip was won by Amon, so he not only is a high rate chess in first player uh, in the uh, white also corner, title, he also gets the Way white pieces. Is that a big advantage here, you think, Levy? Not really, but he does get to a place of comfort. Wait, what was that? Oh, what was that? Um, okay. What, what, what was that? It's like... What was that? Oh, the audio on the clips is scuffed? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all right. I was like, what the heck? Okay, let's keep going. Much faster. So they have played these two guys like a six-game match back in 2019. That's the last time they played any chess against each other. And Amon played three London systems against Lawrence then. He drew oh, no. twice, and he lost Wait. one. But he lost that one on time. He was winning in that game. So he gets to a position of comfort. You see him moving quickly, confidently. He's got a nice position, good space advantage. Very easy moves get to be played in the London system. That's why a lot of people Coming like to play first it. In the white corner. <laughs> what the... What is this? Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Okay, what the heck? <laughs> Jeez. I'm sorry. That, that, okay. I, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that's really, really funny. Okay, let's keep going. Through the chess round, already a very like developed tippy board. Which happened? Hey, what are you Matt, oh, yeah, yo, he's got the a tight Michael style. Variety? Sure. Yo, that so little, that little peekaboo kind of style. Ah, Same and also tight. digested to the ground, rights. essentially. What I will I say is, both guys energy got energy what they wanted. I mean, got a little... Wait, what, what's... Is this just a bad link? Okay, you guys have a different okay main video. Someone have a link to the main video. Sorry with the timestamp. I, I can't I can't watch it like this. It's too much. Um, is it just? Is, someone tell me where it is in the in the Ludwig. Um, go to let, let, let me pull it up. Um, main video has no no audio issues. Okay, one second. Let, let, let me pull it up. Ludwig. Uh, tell me where it's at, you guys. Because okay, where where is it? Actually, where is it? I don't... Videos? 22 minutes? Um, no, but this is, this, this is the video. It's 137k views. It's here? Okay. Let me pull it up from here. Okay. Three matches left on the yep. night. We're cruising through. Okay. That we are, yeah. I mean, that, that one okay. that went the distance, that is like a fully... Is this the game? Very off Wait, no, this is uh, 318. not good, but in a five minute... Oh, here we go. Wait. Uh, and it's taken to it. Okay, here about, we go. Okay, boxing here we go. Boxing is about right. to get underway here, here in about 30 seconds, and that's really going to be the difference maker. So I guess because Amon has played against Trent with this exact same opening, and he's never lost it, maybe he doesn't have a good chance of checkmating and winning, but he has a much higher chance of not losing, not yes, getting Yes, and in terms of player styles, Amon is very stable and consistent. Lawrence can be erratic. He can throw attacks out of nowhere. Ooh, he very bad, very bad move playing D5 and allowing C5. So, like, actually, you know what's funny about this? Already, as I'm looking at this position, I think Lawrence is in trouble on the board before they even get to the boxing, which is kind of a problem, too. So he's, he's in trouble on the board, and then he has to box after this, and we, we know what happens. He takes a lot more risk. Yeah, D5 was a, a horrible move. Openings horrible move. Openings, which by traditional standards are not very good. Look for Lawrence to actually start fighting, not just in the ring, but also on the chessboard. Lawrence is looking for something. Amon is squeezing him right now. Not physically, we're going to get to that. And the Arbiter stepping in. We have five seconds left on the clock. Amon has an early stop, advantage on the yeah. chessboard, but here okay, comes the boxing. Okay. And slight advantage on time to Lawrence Trent. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is what it all comes down to. This is the big question mark between these okay. two. Gloves are coming on. It We're is, about to go at it. It's such a question mark. Okay, because like these two guys, I, I know them so well. I know there's a lot of folks here right now who support various streamers and much bigger influencers, but chess players, I've played both of them. I know both of them. And um, the last this commentary is killing me. I'm going to be honest. This commentary is killing me. We legitimately have oh. no idea. The only people that know how good they are are themselves and their coaches. They went radio silent. Didn't want to give any of that no. scouting information away. Yeah, Levy's way overdoing it. He's way overdoing uh, it. Not that I know. Anyway. Okay. Not that I know. <laughs> All right. So, so again, big question mark. All right, let's, let's see the box. This is going to determine the pace, the momentum. The, the rest of the chess game, this is, it all comes down to this. Mouth okay. pieces are going in, yeah. gloves are coming on. Oh my God. For I folks at home, we're doing gear checks. They're running with no headgear. We also have no... We're, we're they should leave the chessboard in the middle. If you left a chessboard in the middle, you guys, then I think maybe you could actually do it. You could actually fight against a real boxer because you could actually just run around the chessboard for like three minutes. Checking every part of the body. That's, That's what true. I should say here. Yes. I mean, we're playing fair both in chess. They, and they did the wear headgear or not? 90 seconds here. Now, I think the first two minutes looked amazing. Wait, wait, wait. I, I thought they wore headgear. They don't wear headgear here? Really? The chess uh. is played. Right. They played sharp. They played quick. 
I'm excited to see them play chess after this next 90 seconds. Yes, and I'm worried for it's them optional? because ah, they okay. will likely guess out. Like, that okay, is what we've I seen a lot. I want to see straight punches, no slaps. Okay. At the, the break here. and stop. You step and in the ring right now, the man that has no slaps. more chess boxing matches than anyone else on the planet, Volfango Frizzi, the head of the Italian Chess yes. Boxing Federation and head of rules and regulations for the World Chess Boxing Organization. Oh, we start early? A nice, clean jab. Landed for oh! Big right hand. Oh! Dan, this is not what I expected. Coming up with a big flurry. Both landing shots. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, he's caught him. Still landing left and right is Amon. Lauren sneaking what? in jabs. Big shots landed for both fighters so far. Oh, Another big oh! Oh! oh, my God. The first knockout of the match. Bofago giving the standing eight count for Lawrence Trent. Amon hyped as hell in his corner. That was a massive left hand from Amon Hamilton. We knew going in he was the better chess player, but I did not know and he was right the better boxer. Back to business. Lawrence landed two jabs to keep Amon at bay. Amon's looking for the finish with 45 seconds Good on the clock. Landed halfway through the boxing round. No oh. defense to be seen from grapple. either. Lawrence grapples, comes to recover, separates, and back to action. All right, a little bit slower pace coming back. 30 seconds. They're going to be a little more tired right there at this point, Matt. Oh, a couple of big punches from Lawrence. Lawrence finds his distance, lands a clean cross right over the top, right on the chin of Amon. Oh, a good slip and counter right for Amon. Oh, he hurt him. Oh, the referee oh, steps in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Second count. Oh, the fight's oh. over. It is all TKO. over. Amon TKO. Hamilton by TKO. And Master Amon. Wins over Lawrence Trent by TKO. And Lawrence is fuming. He's not happy with the rest decision, unfortunately. So aggravated. Out of our control. At the end of the day, talk to me about the ref, what they get to do, what they get to call. Yeah, so okay. much momentum. Yeah, I mean, like, what, what to say about it? Like, I, I mean, yeah. My turn, no. I mean, like, yeah, the, it's like, I don't even know what to say, what to, what to say about it. What I would say, I mean, obviously, I'm not at any kind of boxing guy at all but it looks very clear that like even in form like Amon's fight like his punches are just better like it's not like Lawrence couldn't punch but Amon's punches just look like real punches at the end of the day that's what it looks like I mean no I mean we're chess players like of course we can't box but it looks like Amon's punches are like closer to being like real punches is what it looks like at the end of the day that, that's what it looks like if I'm not mistaken um but yeah so anyway, not to, can I explain chess terms? Like I, I just explained what it is. It looks to me like, I mean, Amon's punches look real. They look like real punches. I mean, Lawrence's punches don't look like real punches. That's what it looks like. So anyway, um, yeah. So now Andre and Dina, where's the, fu let, let's, let's go to Andre and Dina. I don't want to cover the whole thing, but uh, what the, was it? Was it the third round of Andre and Dina? That was like, let, let's, let's find this third. It was like the third boxing round, right? Or do I watch the whole thing? I mean, I could watch the whole thing, but probably I'd rather not. Discord? Okay. Um, what's in Discord? Oh, last round of boxing? Uh, but it's probably scuffed, right? It's going to be scuffed on the actual video. Or maybe not. Okay, let me pull it up. Okay, let's, let's watch this. Okay, this is the last one. Let me pull it back. Okay. So, okay, yeah. So, let, let me go back just a little bit. So, where were we? Some position like Has this. Both boxing rounds with still some pep in her step. And, and here's the bell. Chess round is underway. And the last time we saw this, a lopsided chessboard, as uh, Andrea takes a moment there, she, she's actually, she's sitting there very conscious of the fact that she might win the fight in the next boxing round. Right, and she has the opportunity here to make a call. She has over two minutes on her clock. She could put it oh, all sorry. on the Let final me, uh, boxing round and play very slow with the chess, guaranteeing the final By, boxing round. By the way, uh, Dina has sacrificed a rook. Knight takes pawn is a fork of Ooh. her king and a rook, but oh, Dina is checkmate. all in. Yeah. She saw that coming. She did not make that mistake. It's she, not an accident. No, it was not an accident. She brought her queen. Look at black. Yeah, queen. you just got the lolly. Queen g4, king. queen that h3. Has nothing in front of it except pawns, which are about to be very brutally removed from the board. So she's calculating, should I take this rook? Should I, I go yes, up material I, guys, or should I try guys, to defend? Black has three times the amount that uh, on the clock that white has. It's a minute and 18 for Andrea as the attack oh is coming God. in. This Dina's is so, so close. so quick to make her move. Oh my gosh, guys, there yeah, is she's a force right check here. Me. Yeah. Right here, and it's mate. I'm not sure why can stop that. Wait, wait, what? Queen in for Black and that's what she's doing. That's what she, I think, I think Black might be winning. I think Black might be winning this game. Okay. Andrea and might want to slow it down, then she might want to slow it down. Oh, it's, it's force mate! It's force mate! 
Black is completely winning. It's made on the next move unless White sacrifices all of her pieces. Which she might need to do at this stage to hang on 36. What that pieces she has to sacrifice. The, next she can, round. the only thing she can do is give checks. She has to stall. If she's smart, she's going to stall the clock out. Andrea cannot make any move. She has to do a force check with her bishop. Oh, that was smart. She took the pawns okay, with the knight. Sacrificed. Wait, wait, but Dina missed made it There's one. A check. Oh, she right. She missed mate in one. Yeah, yeah. Knight takes F2 is mate in one. Yeah, yeah. She missed knight takes F2. That was, that was just the, the mate on the spot. She might need to do this check here. Again, 30 Guys, seconds on the clock. A couple moves ago when the knight Yeah, there's mate in one. one. She, yeah. One was mate. Only eight just... seconds. Are we going to see another boxing round? Ladies yes, and we are. Yes, we are. Dina misses checkmate in one move. <laughs> Andrea. Is she going to make a move? Andrea. Of course, it's going to stall out, obviously. Oh, oh my God. Another boxing round. We're going to oh. see them go out of the how about it, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, my goodness. The beauty of chess boxing. A move away. Andrea knows it all comes down to this. She literally had mate because she had two checkmating ideas. Knight takes pawn is checkmate. She, she literally... She missed we... that. She missed it. It was a smother mate. Yes. Chills all over. Wait, what's that body. sound this from? Is, is that from the game? Job. Or... Ladies and gentlemen, That's just on the video. Shot. One opportunity for Andrea to end it this round. If not, we know checkmate's coming. What is she gonna do with this shot? This so, is so as good as basically. Let me let me pause it's it for a easy. second. So basically, it's checkmate or, or not checkmate. Sorry. So basically, she has to win the boxing or else she's she's done. That, that's that's what has to happen. Um, easily our best fight of the night. Can I hear it for Andrea and Dina? Yo, I was I was like hoping and praying for fight of the night. It is delivering. Let's go. We got our third and final boxing round. But so, so, like in this fight, they're actually they're actually wearing headgear, right? So it's not as um, I mean, it's it's like not as not as crazy, right? Headgear is worse for you. It's not better. Wait, what? No, head headgear must be worse, right? Or, or better? Odina requests they wear they wear um headgear. Ah, okay. No, you can't hear the commentators. That's why you. That's why they did the same thing they did with the Chess Global Championship. You have to put these little uh, you have to put the ear things in, and then you put the big headphones over them. So that that's why um that's why people said without the headgear, Andrea would have won because she probably landed more punches. Headgear is better; it prevents full on punches to the head. Yeah. Okay. I cannot state this in any other way. If this boxing round ends, it's over. Like Dina's mm -hmm. winning. So that means Andrea wins by technical knockout or Dina wins by checkmate. Someone's getting finished. Oh, this, this is definitely going to, to end uh, this round. We're going to know who wins at seconds. the end of this boxing round if it seconds. goes that distance. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I can't sit down for this. <laughs> why, why is everyone sitting down? Right, I'll sit on your okay, feet. Okay. I'm, up, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. You got me. Final round. Let's go. Got the heart racing. 90 seconds for Head gear's better for straight shots. Uh huh. Break. If she doesn't, all okay. signs point to a loss in chess. Ref starts around. I think this is in LA, not Final Vegas. Final LA. No touch of gloves. Wow. Bob and Weaver getting in tight. Dina back. He didn't know that guy. There's that overhand right. Overhand right. There's that overhand. Oh, yeah. oh please. Connect. Clean connect. Chasing her around the ring. And Dina again. Dina stayed away. Being smart. Playing the fence. But boom. Left foot. Oh. The tap. Our first count. <laughs> we got a standing. And two in, the, uh, two in the fight now. That's two in the fight, but it doesn't matter. She needs to get three in this round yep. or a knockdown. Right. So three. Wait, three what? Wait, sorry. She needs to get three what? I mean, she, she hit her boat. Three what? I don't understand. That's a standing eight count. I, I don't understand what that means, but anyway, let's 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 keep going. Called, otherwise, the ref might call oh, three stoppages. Oh, no. Wait, but what do you what do you mean by stoppages? That's what I understand because it's like if people grapple. That's not a stoppage, right? So what what does the stoppage mean? Like I, I'm I'm just confused a little bit by it. Um, like like why is there a stoppage? Because she's running away or what? I, I I don't get it. It just doesn't make sense. But anyway, let's keep going. Down, they saw that she sa saves. 30 seconds. Days. Another big right hand lands. She has to defend herself. Dina has to prove yep. that she can keep her gloves <laughs> up to yep. defend herself. Otherwise, the ref has to call it. Yeah. And she is intelligently defending. She's putting up her arms. She's preparing. Oh, she dive. throws a counter but punch. She does. Oh. oh. Looking like she might collapse here, though. And there's another stoppage. It just breaks it up. No count. Hugging. Breaking it up. And they're back to it. Doesn't count. 40 it seconds. Stoppage. 40 seconds. 40 After seconds. Time. Andrea has to make something happen. She's throwing swings out. Dina running around. She's got to be more gas than any other. Oh, that's it. There's a stun. No. No, no. This is the second one, the third of the match. If she gets three stoppages in the fight, it's over. One more stoppage and it's done. 20 seconds to the side. 20 seconds. Eight. Oh. 
So, so basically what they did is that just took 20 seconds off the clock and they didn't do anything, right? Didn't it? Like, was it, weren't there 40 seconds there and they just like, they stopped, took 20 seconds off? That just took like 20 seconds right off the clock right there. Okay. That, yeah, kind of weird, but okay. Andrea! 10 seconds. Will she deliver the killing blow and win? Or will she lose to checkmate? Separate. There's five seconds left. Five seconds, oh five seconds. God. And in the same way that Andrea waited out time. Oh, there's the bell. Dina waited out time. Wow. Divide the round. And we're going back to chess. Oh my gosh. Wow. And the crowd is furious. Now, it is a good point, Matt, that you said. The same way Andrea stalled the chess, knowing that a yep. checkmate was coming, Dina hugged. Grappled. We've seen this in many fights. Yep. The Logan Paul Flagged, fights I before. guess. She stalled out the boxing. That's right. Using her advantage the same way that Andrea knew she was spent on the chessboard. Dina knew if I can grapple, if I can make him separate us, if I can eat up some of this time, even with standing eight counts, I can survive the round. I can get back to the board and finish this. And let's just keep it a stack. This might be because she wasn't able to get one of the standing knockdowns in the first two rounds. That's yeah. right. If she got four total, which she got three of, and so that just ends that that ends the whole thing, I guess. Right now, we would not be playing the chess. One away, could not be closer. Now it's possible that Dina might not play as sharp. We already saw her with a couple of blunts. No, it's over. You think? Yeah. No, but I'm gonna say like I'll I'll keep watching a second. But one thing is very clear to me, having watched both these fights. Like none of us, I'm gonna be honest. Like none of us would have a prayer, would have a, like a chant, would, would have a prayer of ever surviving as even like a basic a amateur boxer. Like no chance. Just watching, it's like none of us would have a prayer. Like not a prayer, not a prayer in hell of surviving against even an amateur boxer. That that's the one thing that I'm taking away from this. Like no chance. Like I know people are saying that. Like yeah, yeah I mean like Amon won his fight and that's great and like. You have these fights, but it's very clear that none of us would ever have a chance. No chance ever of surviving against any kind of real boxer. Um, no chance. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, hey, either way, I'll say Andrea's nose does not look broken. <laughs> I'm, I'm honest. I mean, what do you want? You want me to pretend not to be honest? Like, I mean, it's kind of hard to pretend. Like, but she looks ready to continue this chess round. Both ladies making their way back over to the stools, ready to pick up Remind the game where they left off. Ever watch Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. You know when Joey had to get up, play one turn at Battle City? Right. When he was knocked out right. by Marek Ishtar? This is that. <laughs> Dina has to show up to the board and make a move. <laughs> yeah, just, that is literally what's happening. Just make one move. Yes. And, and they know it. Both players know it. For people at home wondering if there's three stoppages, the ref a few different times stopped it. Matt, take this away. Yeah, so... It's only a stoppage when there is a stun and a standing eight count. Some of those what looked like stoppages were grapples that needed to be separated and continued. And that's so just it's it. only yeah. a stoppage when there's damage that requires a standing eight count. And we are having the crowd boo. This is like Rocky. Wow. The Russian comes in, <laughs> beats the American, North American hero, Andrea Botez. <laughs> and it looks like she might deliver the checkmate blow that the crowd <laughs> so desperately wants to not happen. Yeah, this is tough. This is one of the things, like boxing is very primal, right? I mean, punches and kicks are very, very Andrea, primal. Taking Sacrifices every move she can, every move she can, a fighter to the end. Six seconds, Andrea waiting out the clock. She knows what's about to happen. And she resigns. She has resigned the game with Checkmate there incoming. Is, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your winner by Checkmate, Dina Bad Bishop Belenkaya. The Valbar not working, yeah. Coming down to the final seconds, both in chess and in boxing. Three knockdowns scored, inches away from the final knockdown, and it didn't happen. I, dude, I need to watch Rocky tonight. That, that yep. got me hyped. And Dude, up, I don't need yeah. to watch Rocky for a decade. These no, but I think, I mean, if I understand it correctly, I think there has to be a result, right, in the chess game. Like, if I if I go back once, I, I mean, let me just see. How much time is there here? Let me go back. How much time? There's 140. Ah, no, but actually, then how does it work? If there's, if there's 336 and there's 140 on the clock, You what happens? You can have no results in the chess, and it has to be based off the boxing. Is that what happens? Because if there's 140 left and you have 336, then that means, uh, oh, no, time is up or not? So, so you can have a situation where, like, for example, if Dina was getting checkmated here, she could stall out 
she could saw it and then it's based off the boxing or not or, or or am i crazy maybe i'm crazy it says 140 left but maybe i'm wrong oh last test round is four minutes and the timer's wrong okay so you're saying yeah yeah no no i get that okay so you're saying it's four minutes so basically the time has to run out in the final round so there has to be someone like if it goes to the final round of chess somebody has to win on the board but it could be a draw theoretically right it could be a draw on the board too but boxing decision if chess is a draw okay yeah i mean the game could be a draw right 140 till the next round but isn't this the last round i mean not that i understand this, but it looks like one two one two one two one this is the final round no but anyway whatever okay let's go go forward someone said i should watch the interviews what do they say that people think the ref called it too early some decisions where the ref didn't call it early enough yeah but at the end of the day they're the trained professionals they make the decisions and of course the checkmate or i guess in this case the checkmate that was about to happen yep. didn't get to happen because dino wins mm -hmm. by time uh we'll by resignation over. yes at resignation. time i mean it was all kind of it was the move away from checkmate she knew it was coming she did the the sportsmanly thing uh but it's absolutely worth a round of applause for andrea botez who put yep. up a hell of a fight. This was the most viewed fight in our best fight of the night. The mm -hmm. women's card always delivers. It's always the most exciting. What I've the seen. Interview? The, okay. the interview? Okay. The interview is going to be good? Uh, okay. Since I saw uh, uh, the Crater Clash, the IDubs event. Yeah, like, okay, the interview is going to be good? Okay, let's watch this. Sure, I'm sure their heads hurt. My head hurts from screaming. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. No, but, oh my God. What a freaking matchup. That was so much fun to watch. All right, let's kick it over to Jerma, who's going to make the announcement. All right. Wow. That's all I can say right now is wow. That was an unbelievable contest. Let's get but let's get let's let's decide let's, let's show the winner first, right? Before we talk about what just actually happened. I think I almost had a heart attack. What? <laughs> and your winner, my checkmate, Dino. <laughs> now let's let's Andrea, come on over here. So Jer Jerma's fine here, but he's not um whatever whatever that guy's name is. He's not he's not that that guy. I, I don't remember that guy's name, but there's that one guy who's like everyone knows um who's like ridiculous. Like is it is it Buffer Buffer? Yeah, Michael Buffer, right? Or Bruce Buffer? Bruce is Bruce Buff Bruce Buffer? I guess it is. Yeah, but that guy is like yeah. Oh both? Oh, they're brothers. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm the other guy who's like, let's get ready to rumble. I tried to stall, but unfortunately, I thought this was a chess boxing match. It felt more like hide and seek. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put up a hell of a fight. Anything else you'd like hide to and seek? Hide and seek. Turn it over to Dina. Dina, the better chess player won. Congratulations. <laughs> now, Dina, Dina, turn this way for me if you would. You knew you were potentially up against that boxing. Trying to maybe do a little bit of dodging and weaving. You knew you Salt? I, I mean, I don't know. So, to be um, completely honest with you... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. It, it, it's it's fine. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, if, I mean, like, Dina's, like, 10 years older, and she's also, like, lighter than Andrea. So, like, I mean, the difference between 28 and 19 is, I mean, a huge difference, realistically. Huge difference. So, I, uh, um, I think I was objective, and I knew that Andrea had a great cardio and I knew she was training way harder than me in boxing mm -hmm. so I assumed her 28 not 20 boxer, 28 28 and my goal was to show that I can also box I trained every day ever since I got the invitation and uh, once again I uh, esteemed her to be a better boxer and my goal was uh, to um, to show the crowd that I can also box and obviously win on the chess board and uh, yeah, it, it happened this way, and uh, still can't believe. I mean, you, you two put on an unbelievable show. Everybody was standing. Sorry, I also want to thank my coach, Brandom, as well as uh, Temple Noborat in Paris. 
the place where I used to box every day, as well as Immortal Game, my sponsor. Without you guys and your support, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you so much. And of course, and of course, huge thanks to my opponent who actually really motivated me for this fight, and that has been an absolute pleasure to to be fighting against you, Andrea. This is yours. Your winner. No, I wasn't watching this live, you guys. No, I wasn't. I, I was not watching this. I was asleep, as I said. But, um, yeah, that's like... I'm, I, as I said before, the only, the only takeaway that I have from this is that, like, it's, it's all fun in games if you have, like, two chess players doing it, but there's just no chance ever of any of us trying to, like, fight against anybody who's, who's a boxer. Because, like, I mean, just looking at the form, like, any of us would get absolutely killed. We, we, we would get killed by an amateur boxer. Because, I mean, I do think, like, if you look at, if you look at Amon or you look at, uh, you look at Lawrence, you feel like, I do think they trained every day. Like, I do think Dina legitimately probably trained every day. But still, compared to, like, an actual boxer, they look terrible. Like, and so that's my one take a bit, takeaway is that if any of us tried to go against, like, an actual fighter... We, 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 we would die. We, we would actually just die. Um, speak for yourself. I trained for 10 years. Yes, Arch Programmer. That's, that's a little bit different. But that is my one takeaway, take is that none of us would ever have a prayer. None of us would ever have a prayer if we tried to fight against a, a, a real boxer. Just no chance. No chance at all. Um, maybe, they, they, maybe, they, uh, maybe they didn't have the best trainers. I, I mean, still, though, I'm just saying, like, still. Yeah, it's just no chance. No chance at all. Yeah. So... All right, so I guess that's yeah, that's, that's pretty much it then. I don't think there was anything else. You guys were saying there was a myth one that was interesting, but I mean, I think these were the two matches. A myth fight? Well, okay, let's see. You said myth versus um, myth versus who's it? Myth Cladares, I guess, or something. Whatever it was, I can watch a little bit of the boxing on that one. You guys said that was good, right? You you, you guys said that was good. Um, let me see if I can pull a little bit. Where is that? Um, just boxing. Myth, but ignore the chess video. Um, where, where, where's the? Let me go back to this one. Is this the, the right one? Oh no, this is the video. Um, this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, where, where was it? It was somewhere back here. Where was it? Um, was it, was it this one? Oh no, this is someone else. No, this is already in the smash section. Where, where was it? Oh, is this? Oh, it was second to last. Oh, okay, second to last. Okay, so that's toast. Toast and the other dude are wearing headgear. Okay, let's go back. It was like in here. Okay, right, right here. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's 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 see. Round and we are hoping to see a hell of a boxing round. They're trolling. Think okay. About it. Rather let's than see. Just be, this being an actual chess game, this is just four minutes of rest ding, for each fighter. Ding ding. We are back to boxing each let's fighter. See it. Rest it up. The Recover, boxing was good in this go one. Out. Okay, let's and see. Let's see if the same uh, trend takes hold. Myth with fancy footwork and quick jabs. Hurley with overhand rights and right hooks to the body. Now I don't think I'm wrong in saying that Myth would probably be. Uh, be oh, watch the first. There's the first round of boxing. Yes, correct. I think saw in the first round was a lot uh, cleaner shots from. Okay, let's go here. <laughs> uh, and so, what does Hurley have in his body? Does he have? Um, he's a no, where is it? Right? Yeah, it's time to no. punch each other. He's telling us he can't. Okay, let's go here. Yeah. And let me hear it if you think it's a. I think this might oh. be per walkout can be deceived. Somehow be. Yeah, a string, and I think your guard decided for about this match. Any he rhyme or reason? What happened in one of the matches? Yeah, we do got one more match. They start uh, with this. Cash app. Wait, I thought they started with boxing. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Do they start with chess or with boxing? I'm confused. I thought they started with boxing. Is they start with chess or with boxing? Oh, they start with chess. Okay. Um, I, I okay. So then I actually was watching it from the start. So this this this, this is the first round of boxing, right? I think. This is the, this is the this is the first round of boxing. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's watch this. That gave Myth some trouble. Right hooks to the body. Right overhands. What we're looking for in this round. Okay. Is to let's see watch it. Whether that trend continues or whether they uh, prepared something else for this round. To, to get an advantage. Are you ready? Refs are you ready? ready to call it. Fight! 90 seconds, our second go. round of boxing has begun. We gotta get up on our feet for this. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. This has been our, my favorite fight. Myth slipping. We saw shades of Ali, the way he was taunting, hands down. In that corner, yeah. Looking like Ali, missing shots, getting just out of range, coming back with shots of his own, a shot Ooh. of his body. 
Landed for Churley's. Good connection. Oh, nice jab. Shades oh, of Ali. Right okay. The <laughs> oh, the uppercut. Now, I'm excited to see the damage done. Because here's Such the thing. A tense moment. It's nice counter. Another flurry. They off show balance. Yeah, this so actually look does look better, though. This does Mr. look better. Oh, look at the We've feet. Look at the feet. Ali shuffle. He's cooking. Big right hand lands oh, above the temple of Churley's. Might be a little stunned. Mid mid Guard is high. Mitchell Southpaw here. Right hook lands to the body. Yeah, they're, they're much Shirley's like they're much more stable. They're much more stable. Like you can Still see, like they're they're like their form. The time done. Ali, a bit of show. Like they're on their feet. They're like they're 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 much. They're definitely better for sure. Let's not say they're like coming up on 30 seconds amazing. left. That flurry from Mitt, the most action that we saw. No, I'm just watching the boxes. People were saying people were saying that the uh, the chest was. Uh, they were saying the chest was like um, wasn't worth watching. They're saying the boxing is good. Yeah, Churley says been working that body. Good connections. 20 seconds remain. Way to dodge the swing there. Yeah, Miss getting the distance in, getting just out of range of that right hook to the body that Churley's been going to pretty much every exchange. They're both taunting each other, but we haven't seen a lot of action this round compared to the first round. They're very Ten slow. Ten seconds left. Action for the end of the round. Let's see it. Churley's going first round was much better. I mean, am I stupid? I didn't. I didn't see the first round. I mean, where, where are we at? We're at 425. Like, I didn't see the first round. I mean, I just see chess. Yeah, like, I, I I don't see it. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm stupid or something, but, like, I don't see the first round. Like, they sit down, they play chess at, like, 4-11. Yeah, I, I don't see it. Like, I'm, I'm too stupid, apparently, but I, I just don't see it. Seconds left. Two, one, and time. End of the boxing round. We're back to chess. Quiet round. I was surprised. Yeah. Much more quiet. We had one big exchange where Myth yeah. showed a flurry of shots. Landed two There's one more, one more boxing, right? Seconds. If Churley's moves quick, the issue is that Myth has three additional Myth uh, yep. minutes to Churley's. Yeah, seconds. Churley's has to play fast and go for the king, and he's only got 30 seconds on the clock. It is not looking pretty right now. And you can see they're both breathing heavy. They're both smiling at each other because they, I think they know the result that's about to be announced. Oh, he takes the rook. This is just a formality because we have to close out the game. We have to find a winner. 15 seconds for Churley's and a rook down. It's looking like he's going to lose on time on the 64 squares. 10 not seconds left. Openings in Mitch's defense. Churley looking for one, but not finding it. And ladies and gentlemen, wait, although whoa, wait, wait a second. Wait, there's. Wait, he's got four seconds to 325, and there's 350 in the round of chess. Um, okay, so he's just he just loses on time. Basically, he, he just loses. Okay, so let, let, let's just watch the first round of boxing quickly then, because you, you guys mentioned it. Uh, let's watch this, this first round. One last little bit. Seconds out from starting the boxing. Yeah, I'm just a little go. confused. Yeah. Ding, ding. For everything they liked in the chess, I'm hoping we see them make up for it in the boxing. Ooh, clean jab, landed for both. Yeah, and very competent. Oh, wow, body oh. shot, landed for Churley's, another body shot. Cleaner shots coming from this so oh. Ooh. That was right on the button. And this, this is an is, even fight. This is so far very, very This 80% expectation for Myth to win, I think, came from how he looked in the boxing, but Churley's showing that Looks he Oh, fight. he hurt him again. <laughs> Churley has skills. Oh, Triple double jabs, jab. another right hook to the body that Churley's go to. He's landed three hooks. Oh, massive overhand, and an right. overhand right, landing on the Temple of Myth. Myth, good. I like that head head movement. I like the footwork. Fifty seconds left. This might be the highest level boxing match we've seen tonight. Absolutely, yeah. The, both these competitors are doing really well. It's, it's equally scored so far. Myth with a quick cross to the body, not doing much damage, but scoring a point. And there's okay. a Maybe response. There. Body oh, shot by yeah. Churley. There's still so much time in the round. 40 seconds. Yeah, not, just over half. Oh! Time. Tanks a few headshots to get a body shot. Myth is nodding Those at him. Keeping <laughs> each other up, keeping each other's distance. <laughs> Waiting for a move to counter. Another right hook lands to the body for Churley's and then trading jabs. Right, they, the, is, the way they're trading jabs might be a double KO. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, what an end would that would be. Oh! 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 The oh, oh, and the oh but Churley's coming right back at him. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Channeling Ali. Yeah. Hands down, missing shots. Oh, Miss got him cornered. You got five seconds here. Five seconds to make some moves. Otherwise, it goes back to the chest. 
Seconds out and time. Yeah, this is the, this that actually that actually is that that actually is good. I'm gonna be honest. Like it's the, but the only problem is was the only one that I watched where like I actually feel like someone could get knocked out. Like someone could actually like get just like flat out knocked out. Um, the other ones like you feel like someone could land a punch, but no one's gonna like get hurt. But this one you feel like someone could actually get hurt. When, when you look at this, like if, if one of those punches actually lands, but anyway, no, this is, it's, this, this is pretty good though. This, this, this is good. This is a good boxing. I mean, as good as they're going to get, I guess for, for the match, but anyway, all right. So yeah, so those, those, I guess were the interesting moments that you guys were mentioning. I don't think there's anything else really super interesting from it. Um, do people not realize chess boxing has been around since 2003? Yeah, it's been around. It, it's been around. Um, but yeah, there, there's like, Charlie took a lot of punches, but still kept going. I mean, they both took punches though, right? I mean, they, they did. Amon knocked Trent out. Yeah, but I mean, it, did, it didn't feel like you were going to get like a squared up punch. It was just going to like, someone's going to be like lights out. But I did see that. Yeah, I mean, it did look like Amon though. Amon clearly took it more seriously than Lawrence did. Like uh, Amon was clearly ready to, to fight. Uh, Lawrence didn't really look ready. He, he didn't look ready. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, it's 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 what it is. Me versus Ali Reza. Ali Reza is like ten feet tall. Like there, there's just no chance. And honestly, like I mean, why do you want to? Uh, why, why do you want to um, put 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 yourself at risk like that? But but yeah, I mean, Amon was was the best of the chess chess players, I guess you can say. Lawrence was very serious, really. Lawrence boxing club for three years. Wait, are you serious? I, I'm just. I, I mean, again, like Lawrence. Lawrence was really okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. He just got outclassed. But I mean, if, if Lawrence has been like boxing for three years, like Amon has not been boxing for three years. Let, let's be honest. I mean, Amon probably put what, like three to six months in? I mean, if you've been boxing for three years, I, I don't know. If you've been boxing for three years, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. If you've been boxing for three years, like that makes it worse. Yeah, maybe. You never know. You never know. Uh, Lawrence said, is, is there some clip of that where Lawrence says that? I don't know. L Lawrence said, only way Amon wins is if he lucked out in chess. I don't know. I don't know. But it's what it is. He'll call me out now. Yeah, maybe he will. But no, that's what it is. It's what it is. Tr it was in the C, C squared podcast. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's what it is. So, all right, you guys. Um, let me think, what am I doing or am I doing anything? I think actually I'm probably going to bounce pretty soon just because um, I do have a match coming up in about like two hours against, um, against uh, Levon Aronian and the Speed Chess Championship. So I think I'm going to bounce. Um, I could do Reddit. Actually, let's do Reddit. Yeah, I forgot. I've got a Reddit to cover, right? That's right. I have one, one last thing to cover. Let's, let's cover the Reddit for the week or the month, I guess. And we'll, we'll do that. And then, we'll, then, then I'll probably call it a day. So let me change the scene. All right, let's do our Reddit. Let's do top four, I'm guessing this month maybe. Top for this month. Okay. And I'll skip the ones that I've already covered. Okay, so we have this top one. What is this next one? We have this one. What is this? How unfortunate. What is this? You can slap fucking also. Wait, what? Sorry, what? You can slap fucking also stroke. Okay, what is this? I mean, see, oh, I've seen the position. It's King A. And Okay, fair enough. Let's move on. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, what do we have? Let's not ignore this ratio Hikaru got on Magnus. This is from Magnus Carlson at Chesscom. How on earth do I get seven black games in 11 rounds? Canceling my diamond membership and never coming back. 17.1K likes. L plus ratio, 22.9K likes. All right, what do we have next? We have same trap, different day. What is this? Me falling for the same opening trap once again. After all, why not? Why shouldn't I take the pawn? Okay, fair. Next up, we have, and now chess is a contract sport. Winner gets the parachute. This is actually, this is a, this is a funny one. Um, this is like Timur Grave. He's a grandmaster from, I believe it was Uzbekistan. Maybe I've got the country. Maybe it's one of the other stands, but he's like skydiving. Winner gets the parachute. The problem is like, you, you, can't, you can't do that. Cause that's gotta be like 10 seconds for the whole game. I mean, not 10 seconds, sorry. So both players probably have about, what, like 20 seconds? That would be a game of almost hyper bullet. It's probably free fall is less than a minute. Probably, what, like 40-ish? 
40 45 seconds i'm guessing 45 seconds to a minute of free fall maybe so it's like a hyperbolic game of chess to decide whether you live or die interesting idea but i'm not sure i would do that ultimate game of blitz yeah ultimate game of blitz what is this anytime the sub sees an asian person um is this hikaru now i actually saw this on twitter this um this is a guy he's like when japan won the game he um he was started crying or he scored the goal i forget which team it was against but of course this is not me obviously so next up what do we have we have wait bro i'm calculating chess players staring at the board for 20 minutes straight what is this okay <laughs> <laughs> okay that's that's pretty fair pretty fair yeah that is that is what chess players do just literally look just just stare that's all you're doing okay next up we have i drew hikaru for a school project i hope you like it i'm a beginner so any advice um yeah this is a beginner so i'm not gonna be overly um negative about it but yeah this, this face is pretty pretty big pretty big um yeah, that's 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 a little bit much. A little bit much. Ground true. Okay, let's see. Second picture. Okay. Yeah, this is very round. <laughs> Fatty Caru. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it's uh it's a little bit round. It's a little bit little little bit round. But hey, it's all good. The eyes are perhaps a little bit too big and it's a little bit too round, but it's it's not that bad. And he's a beginner, so can't um can't complain that much. All right. Next up we have I play better when I'm spectating. What is this? Me watching chess. Me playing chess. Yeah, now this is, I think, um, I don't know if anybody's actually studied this phenomenon, but this is 100% true with chess, that when people watch chess, they're, the way that they view it, the, the moves they come up with are always better than when they play. So for example, if my, if my stepfather is watching a game of mine, the ideas or suggestions he has when he's, when he's watching my games are much better than they would be if he was playing. So there's some there's some effect that probably hasn't been studied, but this is 100 percent true. All right. Next up, we have don't blunder. This is Le Levy. It says stop blundering. Play the 48.282 north and 16337.38 east. Uh, this is some I don't know what the latitude and longitudes mean, but it means something. So uh, is it London? Oh, you think it is it London? Oh, that's probably what it is. Ah ha ha. Very funny. It's or it's Vienna or it's London? Ah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? Title. What is this? Average GMs entitled Tuesday. Hikaru. Now again, I don't know what the movie is, so I I don't I don't get the meme. I, I don't get the meme. Okay, next up we have Hikaru needs to get better. If he, oh, it's, uh, they misspelled my name. They say, if he, Caro, he, if he, Caro wants to be Carl Magnus, he needs to know my brain. I have Gary, cause Gary Kadparov, 35 skill level in my mind. I just don't play chess. My name is Hoa V. Okay. I don't get the, get the joke. Let's keep going. We have title. Make an uncalculated move immediately after opponent to make the opponent think the blunder was part of your plan. Make a well make a well calculated move after blundering. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next up, we have the three types of players according to chess.com. We have all under 20 women. Um that's an interesting breakdown. Um uh that seems kind of wrong. I'm going to be honest. That does not seem right when you have these breakdowns. That's, ooh, um, oof, oof. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's keep going. I'm actually shocked by that. I am shocked. I am unstoppable. Magnus Carls. Uh, the French defense. Is this a good defense? Is a baguette. Baguette versus something. Okay obviously a um obviously a photoshop what do we have we have when your friend has a top oh geez okay oh dear when your friend has a tiny juice from you got to make an effort to see it oh dear okay <laughs> Jeez. okay let's keep going um this comment in a mr b short what, what is this comment it says bro just went 
Green light heard legs worked. I mean, good for him for acknowledging he made the mistake. Bro, this guy's brain is almost making as many calculations as Hikamaru Nikaru is calculating possibilities in a chess position. Now, I don't know the video or the context, um, but so be it. All right. Next up, we have... What do we have? Do we have any more? We have new update. Uh-oh, it says, wait, not safe for work? I, uh, oh, it says NSW, but okay, let's, wa let's watch it. There's sound, okay. Okay, hurry up, hurry, make your move. Good job. Okay. WS just subscribed. Okay. Good job. Wait, wait a second. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. No, we're not going. Hello, further. everyone. Okay, okay, you guys. Very funny. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, yes, obviously. Yes, we're not. We're not going there. Next up, we have happy birthday, Hikaru. Yeah, they make they make a joke about my name. Very, very funny. All right. Um, what is this? Oh, right. This was part of what we wanted. I was going to watch this separately, so I will not watch this right now because we're going to watch this afterwards. If you yeah. would challenge. What do we, have? we have Ali Reza on chess boxing. OK, what is this? If you yeah. would challenge somebody of the top 20 in the world at chess boxing, who would you challenge? A top 20? Um, I don't know, I could probably pick Nakamura because I could win probably. <laughs> you think you will win? <laughs> yeah, because, because I think I am much taller, so I think... Much taller, longer reach, not you're shocking. You're not much taller, you're a bit taller, but he's, Wait. Uh, he's heavier, so he's punches. Wait, isn't... Wait, Ali Reza is like... Ali Reza is much taller. He's not just like a little taller. He's, I mean, they're acting like he's like one inch taller. He's like, he's like four, he's like four inches taller, at least, I think. I think he's like 5'11 or, or like six feet. Like, it's not like one inch. I'm like five, seven and a half. Yeah, like, I mean, he's at least like 5'11, if not more. Like, yeah, I mean, at least, at least. He's very light, sure, but I mean, again, it should have, should have longer reach. But, Anyway. Okay, Karu. I mean, let's make it. Just make it happen. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the problem is it's just get inside and throw hooks. Yeah. I I mean, I'm shorter than him for sure. Like, I mean, the, the fight that actually Ali Reza should do is it should be Ali Reza against Anish because they're both like, they're both like super tall. They're both super tall, but they're both like super skinny. That would be like the right match. Um, That's the match. Because like Anish is also very skinny. Like Anish versus Ali Reza is like the right height and the right weight. That's the actual... Uh, fight that should happen. All right, next up, what do we have? Hikaru Fake Master. Eight Fake Masters getting destroyed by real fighters. Right, good one. They they photosh they photoshop my face, but this looks like me actually. This this does this does look a little bit like me, which is kind of ridiculous. All right, next up, we have should have taken the draw. What is this? Okay. I have to eat. Accept the draw, please then resign okay king f4 me damn should have taken the draw <laughs> okay all right um anish is six feet tall i like the three guys who are like tall and skinny generally are anish fabiano and ali Rez. those guys are all like those guys are all tall um hmm we have some other ones, nothing too, and eh, nothing too exciting. So I think I'm gonna cut it off there. Um, but there is that video that I did want to watch. Let, let me find the video because apparently there was this, uh, there's this video. Let me let me find it. Where is it? Um, give me one second. Where is it? But yeah, there there's this video. If I can find it somewhere. Um, it's like a video of chess song. It's like a chess song. Maybe I can find it somewhere here. Um, where is it? Let me find it. Actually, where is it? Give me one second, you guys. Let me, let me pull it out of here. All right, let's watch this on YouTube. When I see some of these moves... Wait, okay, let me... Let me we don't need chat on this one. Let's, what is this? Okay. When I see some of these moves that computer suggests after a game that I play, and I just go, wow, that is the beauty for me. Because these are not moves that I would ever consider. And when, when I then see the move, and then like I might make a couple of moves to try and understand why, that is the beauty to me. Good.
good. I feel like playing chess, chess, bro. Yeah, I feel like hoping. I feel like playing chess, chess, bro. Yeah, I feel like streaming, streaming, streaming. I'm just trying to play as well as I can, and I don't really worry. Like if I lose a game, it's not the end all be all. I'm not naturally talented, but if I don't get something, I'm, I try to figure out why don't I get it? What am I doing wrong? Over and over and over again. Good. No, it's good. It's potentially a good intro, yeah. Is my game against Gelfond? Probably against Gelfond, right? Yeah, of course. It's good. Is this good should be in the video? Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. Pretty positive, too. Yeah, it's pretty positive. Yeah, not bad. No, it's good. Good video. Um, thank you so much to Nick L takes W's for the five gifted. Thank you so much to Ben Thomas for the two. Lord Musia for the 10 gradient step. Thank you to D1 for Mag, Thunderdome, the Body Mon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to uh, Lobby Puff for the Prime. Nick L takes W's for the tier one. Zodiac. Thank you so much to Lolo is Trash. Everybody else, appreciate it. All right, you guys, I'm going to be calling it a day, obviously. Um, I do have a match against Levana Roni in about an hour 40 from now. So I'm going to be calling it a day so you guys can obviously watch it. I do think we're going to have coverage on our channel, though I'm not 100% sure on that. If not, it'll be on the Chess.com channel as well. So I'm going to call it a day, you guys, for now, because obviously I have this match coming up. So let me figure out who we're going to raid. I will be streaming tomorrow, of course, uh, fairly early. I think like 9 a.m. Eastern or thereabouts. Obviously, it's classic title Tuesday. going to be a nice long stream tomorrow. Um, let me just figure out who I am rating. Let me open twitch.tv and go from there. Um, what'd you say? A chess network is live. Um, let, let me see. Who am I going to raid? Um, let, let me, let me see. Who am I rating? Let's see. Am I going to raid chess or outside of chess? Uh, I think maybe I will send the raid over to, of course, Mr. Rosen. I think that's who I'll raid. So I'm going to send the raid over to Eric Rosen, um, and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Around, I think it's 9 a.m. Eastern. You can check the schedule on Twitter. Uh, but at any rate, it is what it is. So I'll see you guys soon, and I hope you enjoy the stream, and I'll be back tomorrow, if not later. So see you then. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.